Hey, it's me, GV. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Fallout. Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas series. Not sure where this one's gonna go. I feel like I'm uploading quite a lot of content and streams to the YouTube channel lately, and I don't know if people like that. I mean, it's a shit ton of content, but can they even keep up? I don't know. Um, but the what I do know is I really enjoy streaming, and I was like, hey, let's just do some snow globe stuff. Um, and, you know, some unique, you know, but we'll probably clean those up pretty quickly. So I was like, what else can we do? And I was like, ah, let's go, let's get all the unique stuff. That'll be fun. So that, that's what we're going to do today. Um, typically, uh, uh, you know, these, these streams are hit and miss for the New Vegas stuff. Uh, last one was a little miss, I think, the, the dead money cleanup, because there wasn't really that any anything interesting to do these i i think is going to be more the i think this is going to be more interesting is what i'm trying to say so the first one is good springs we're just going to jump into it the first one is good springs we already got it uh that's um you know i'll just show all the locations for anybody watching like wanting to figure out where they are yourself i believe this one is here we got it at some point in the let's play but i believe it's right here of course in good springs cemetery which is here next to good springs there we are yeah, right about there, right? That's where the, uh, the, the Good Springs snow globe is. Oh, and for anybody that doesn't know what the snow globes are, or has no idea what I'm talking about, in Fallout New Vegas, there's like 10 or so, uh, snow globes that you can turn into Mr. House for 2,000 caps of peach. A peach. A piece. Not a peach. Um, and they're, um, you know, that's a lot. That's like 20,000 caps or something just for collecting snow globes. So it's a lot of money. Uh, it's good, you know, if you want to max out all the stuff, so... We're going to be getting them all tonight and then hopefully be doing some unique weapons as well. Maybe we can clean out all of the melee unique weapons or all of the certain type of unique weapons. That would be amazing. Uh, but we'll just see. We'll, we'll we'll see where the wind takes us. So, yeah. First one is Good Springs. Uh, and I do believe it's this one right here, which, of course, we already grabbed. Are we off to Quarry Junction? Uh, no. You will see Quarry Junction this week or next week. Uh, and goddamn. Huh. Oh boy, it drove me crazy, man. I'm telling you right now. Now, the next one's in Hoover Dam, but the question is, can we even get into Hoover Dam? It's in the Hoover Dam Visitor Center. Oh, yeah, I think we can get into this one, can't we? Let's see where this is. The, the Hoover Dam is a very important main quest area. and I, So I'm not sure if we can actually get in here just yet. But we'll check it out. Looks like the Hoover Dam is... There. We're idolized at the Hoover Dam. The good old Hoover Dam peeps have idolized us. Okay, let's go to Boulder City and let's head over. Uh, I don't know if we can get this one. I think we can. I think you can get this one early, but I could be wrong. So let's head over. Sorry, I'm missing so much chat. Jesus freaking Christ. Uh, just popped in to ask, will this be a, a bit for the series? Because I need to... Oh, two cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, it'll be uploaded uh, as long as we stay on track here. Stream all your episodes and make videos. You'll be able to buy your girl a Ferrari for Christmas. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, I I guess I should state that um, I really do appreciate all of the goddamn crazy balls-out support that this channel has gotten lately. Um, and I, I do want to say, and I say this a lot, I'm a very humble guy when it comes to spending money. I really don't spend money on anything crazy. Pretty much everything that you throw at this stream goes right to bills. And afterwards... The, you know, the cats, um, I don't know, and here or there, a dinner out with my girlfriend or whatever, but I really don't splurge on shit, and video games, you know, for the stream, and for the, these days, like, 90% of the shit that I, the video games that I play are for the stream and the channel, anyway, the stream and the YouTube channel, anyways, so not that it really matters, I know you're just trying to support the stream, but I do want to say, like, seriously, I don't have a coke addiction, I don't have a, a, a prostitution problem or anything like that, you know, like, everything that you guys do, do go, goes right to my bills. I mean, I guess if I had the means, I could say, like, I, I send it to charity or I could do something even better. Fucking invisible walls! Will you stop New Vegas with this bullshit? God! Why? Why did you put invisible walls here, New Vegas? Why? I'm so tired of the invisible walls in New Vegas. Makes no sense! Anyways. So I do want to say thank you very much, and that is true. I don't really have any, you know, the closest thing would be, like, I have a food addiction, so sometimes I spend a little too much money on eating out here and there, but normally, I mean, these days I'm eating healthy. I'm just cooking up some chicken breasts uh, with that, with the, you know, like I said, the, the English muffins with the peanut butter and the, um, it's pretty boring, and the sandwiches with Black Forest ham and Swiss cheese. I try to stick to that as much as humanly possible, but every now and then I'm like, hey, Chipotle sounds mighty fine today. You know, but, um, anyways, thank you so much, everybody, for everything, for all, from now to the end of time. I don't, I just don't even know how to fucking really, it's, it's really a lot, man. And I actually, like I said, I was talking about this with, um, the personal thing that I don't know if I should talk about. 
I talked about this exact thing today. I was just like, you know, they, they do so much. I don't even know if I deserve it. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, thank you. Not to get weird. Here's the visitor center. Yay. Brandon Papworth. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So check this out. I think it's right here, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Snow globe Hoover Dam. Look at little Volpo. He's like, he, I'm doing a good job, aren't I? I built my whole Hoover. Who built the whole Hoover Dam by, all by myself? Yoink. Uh, you found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. So sweet. There's that one. I'll show you where this is, by the way. Um, you want to go right here. So there it is uh, on the eastern side of the map. Uh, next to this little part of the road, there's the Hoover Dam Visitor Center, and inside of which you'll find the Hoover Dam Snow globe. Oh my lord. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Yeah, I don't like that movie as much as everybody else likes it. I think it's a good movie, but I, I need to rewatch it and see like if I'll, if I'll have a newfound appreciation for it now. Next one is an old Mormon fort. We know where that is. We'll just look for it. We'll get the general sense of where it is. Jesus Christ, that's a wonderful sound, isn't it? So next one's an old Mormon fort. We know where that is, right? Um, that's near the strip. Um, and I think either of these will work. Right? Yeah. I think we want to go here. Holy moly, have you tried English muffin pizzas? Uh, I eat whole wheat English muffins, so that would taste horrible, because whole wheat muffins, whole wheat English muffins taste horrible just off the bat anyways. <laughs> Keep the unique stuff organized, like all the dead money stuff in one locker, because if you check the lockers, you can organize stuff in them, so weapons, armor, mods can be... S Wait, what are you talking about, Snow? I feel like I missed your first part. Oh, get away from me, dude. Get away! Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Yeah, that's me. The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Wow! A whole 22 bottle caps! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! She left you worth- she left you worthless stinking ass. It's probably your funniest video I've ever seen from you. I think the other ones were funny. That's like the third- everybody keeps comparing me to that bacon guy. <laughs> That's like the third one of those like short clip videos I've made recently. Um, I think the other ones were funny, but I'm glad you liked it. She left- oh, that's right. She left your worthless stinking ass. I, I could have I could have made it even longer because um, after he shoots that guy when he's already dead, I, like, walked out. You'll see this in the episode when it comes up. I, like, walked out, and then he, like, was still... He stopped, and then he was still shooting him right before I left. It was really... I should have honestly made it longer, because it was really funny. Okay, let's find... I don't know where this one is. Uh, we might as well at least, like, try to find him without knowing exactly where they are, you know? I don't remember... I don't remember one being here, but it obviously is. It's somewhere. I think it might be in that, um... That little door in the corner, though, but I'm gonna check the other rooms first. Before we do, Old Mormon Fort's not that big. Instead of giving you money for your drug addiction, I'll send you drugs. Um, my only addiction in terms of that, it would be Ricola, as the chat has found out. An addiction to soothing my voice with beautiful, silky, smooth Ricolas. That's it. I don't have any other drug addictions past that. Snow Globe's a good spring cemetery? Yeah, 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 I know. We're gonna figure it out, though. I don't wanna, I wanna, I wanna take them, I wanna take them as we come to them. I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at all of them. I, I wanna try to figure out where they each are, maybe a little bit, but I don't wanna spend half the time just, you know, like, boringly going through areas doing nothing. The king must be struggling. Corn in 22 cap. Hi, who are you? Corn in 22 caps, yeah. <laughs> 22 caps, oh boy! Okay, yeah, it must be in one of these two corner rooms. I think it's in... You know what? I think it's in the one over there. So let's go check that one real quick. You can upgrade the Lucky 38. Wait, that's right. Wait, how do you upgrade the Lucky 38? Wait, can you? I vaguely remember that. I vaguely remember you being able to do that, but I don't remember the specifics about it. Yeah, now I remember there is, like, some sort of upgrading system, isn't there? Oh, that's right. She left you with the stinking ass. Okay, so is it up here? No snow globe, as far as I can tell. No snow globe. No globe of snow! Alright, we're gonna go to the other one then. It must be in the other one. I know I say this way too often, but you've garnered one of the greatest communities I've ever seen. Thank you for the endless hours of entertainment and being such a cool person. You've changed my life significantly for the better, so thank you. Man, you gotta stop with that shit. I'm already, like, floored. I, how am I even supposed to respond to stuff like that? 
Yeah, I, I say this very often, and I really, really do mean it. There's a lot of things about my personality that I really want to work on and get better. And it's mainly just because you people here have shown me such fucking compassion and just... Nice being, I mean, just being nice to me, just being nice and supportive. I, I, you don't have to do that. I know it comes with the territory of me being a Twitch streamer. And, you know, people like to say nice things to their streamers and whatever that they watch, but... Yeah, I just like playing video games, man. This has turned into something so fucking what? crazy at this point. There you are, by the way! Okay, so there it is. There's the Mormon Fort. Snow Globe, he's like, Hey, look at me! Now I'm in the, now I'm in the Mormon Fort! Look at me hanging out! Isn't this fun? Okay, there it is. Was there anything else here? Is that terminal active? What's that? Today's physician. We have like a hundred of those books. Yeah, man. I, I, dude, this is such a wonderful thing. I, I I, don't know how we've been doing in terms of views. I hope it's been good. I don't know whether like my specific stream turns people away because it's a little bit different. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this isn't a typical stream, you know? I feel like um, there's a Good and bads about it in terms of just how we operate here. Very, very just like off the cuff. Off the, you know, off the cuff. So I don't know. I feel like it's really good though. It's a really, really good spot. I just, I really dig it lately. So thank you, Watery Bread Man. You're an amazing guy. Just straight up. You're, you're such a wonderful person to have in the chat. Um, and you've benefited my life too, man. So don't forget that. Next one is in Mount Charleston in Jacobstown Lodge. Oh, Mount Shrug. Oh, I think we have that one, but we'll go check anyways. Hello. Also, if you want to know where this one's at, here's the uh, Freeside, Freeside North Gate near the Strip. Right there, that's where we're at. Old Mormon Fort. You should know where that is if you played New Vegas before. If you haven't played New Vegas, well, there you go. Uh, we're going to go over to Jacobstown now, which is a fun place. I'm pretty sure we got this one. The one drug I was talking about, of course. Yeah, I need some more. Maybe I'll pick up those dopamine we're talking about, the Fisherman's. I think I have heard of those, but... I don't know. I think it was 25 ounces, so it must be a big-ass, fat-ass package of them um, on Amazon. Because it was like $26. I was like, if that's a 25 count for $26, you are high, dude. You are high as a kite. Not dopamine. I mean, like, the people selling that shit. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Liquid gold? What do you mean, $26? Okay, I believe it was right here, wasn't it? It was, like, right on the desk. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let me know if I'm wrong, but I think the, um, the Jacobstown one is, like, right here. So, we already have that one as far as I know. Um, so, if you'd like to know where Jacobstown is, I'll show you in just a sec. In the terminal in your room next to... What the fuck? Well, let's go check that out then, because I don't even remember that being an option. But I think you are right. Yeah, let's... Uh, we'll do that, too. That'll be a good idea. Someone watch it. Everyone should be nice and kind to one another. Imagine what better world... I know, right? I... Okay, so here's Jacobstown, right? You, you know where Jacobstown is, and it's on that desk. Uh, just for anybody that doesn't know. Uh, let's also make a new save. Yeah, man, I, all I want is to, like, try to cull the negative properties of my... This is my goal moving forward for the next year, most likely. And I'm staying on track. We're, we're talking a lot about... We're talking a lot of, about a lot of heavy shit, but okay, I'm getting the... I'm playing the game, all right? Get off my case, Dad! Nellis Air Force Base. Where the fuck? Oh! Well, we might have this one, too. In the Boomer Museum. Okay, get your OK Boomers ready. It's your time to shine, everybody. Oh, boy, are you excited? You can use that OK Boomer joke. That isn't, like, totally overused. Ready? Everybody get it. Get ready. Here come the OK Boomer jokes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Open season. Oh, uh, we need to go to the Boomer Museum. What do they have in there? Like, fucking rotary phones and, like, uh, fucking footballs? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you donate bits and put that message in that bit message. How dare you, sir. Thank you, Mace. Yeah, I got tell- Yeah, I'm so glad it did. I'm so glad- Oh, there's the Boomer Museum. I'm pretty sure we got this one, too. Yeah, we got most of them. Yeah, it was, like, right on this desk, I'm pretty sure. Right about there. Yeah, no, my throat feels good. I think- I think I, like, worked through it. I, like, I- you Hi, know, I, I worked through the pain, and now it's, like, stronger. You know, kind of like a muscle. It's getting stronger. I genuinely think that's what happened. By the way, oh, uh, if you come to the Boomer Museum, make sure to grab this shit up here. There's, like, a Guns and Bullets or whatever the Millsurp review. No, it's the Explosives one. Yeah, get the Explosives magazine here because those are hard to come by. And um, you're going to want to grab them, trust me. So make sure to get that if you can. All right, that one's done. Uh, you should know where the Boomers are, but in case you don't, up here to the top right or the northeast, uh, Nellis Hangers, uh, here's the Boomer Museum. And you can grab that snow globe there. I guess we've got most of these. Oh, anyway, let me get all, let me, let me say my little piece before I forget. T 
test site? What the fuck is test site? Oh. Cocktail lounge. We might have not grabbed that one. Huh. Yeah, no, I, all I want out of life, I've realized, I thought a lot about it. Man, I want to be left alone. Like, I don't want to have any enemies. I don't want to make any enemies. I don't want anybody to think I'm their enemy. I want to just do my thing, this. be peaceful with everybody. I have no interest in making enemies or, you know, being uh, snideful or spiteful. I mean, obviously, we're human, so we're going to feel those no matter what, but... I want to just, like, be as pure with that as I possibly can. Do do what makes me happy while also, you know, not getting in anybody else's way. And then I really... And, you know, I hope people do that, too. Where to, partner? Let's go to the... Cocktail Lounge. Cocktail Lounge! Uh, yeah, I want to do that. And then I want to do my best with what I do here to just, to just in any way benefit people's lives. Even if it's, like, just taking their mind off of it for a, for a flippin' second... You know, nothing significant. That makes me feel good. So that's what I'm going to be working towards, man. And you people keep showering me, me with so much freaking goddamn, like, nonstop stuff. And, uh, I don't know. I want to give back tenfold, but... Whew. Oh, boy. It's a lot. So anyways, I, that's what I want. That's all I'm trying to do. I think we, we must have grabbed this one, huh? Because isn't it on one of these shelves? It's not over here somewhere, right? This is, like, way too much... Way too much shit to explore, I think. Yeah, we got most of these, I guess. GB, how can I whisper you? I have something to say. Uh, you type slash dub. Okay, nobody do this at once, please. <laughs> if it's really important, I prefer you just say it in the chat, but if it's really important or personal, you can either DM me on Twitter or DM me in the Discord, or you can type slash W space Grovana space your message. I think that works. I'm always scared of doing that, though, because... I always wonder if that if it if it's actually gonna. Did we get this one? I didn't think we got this one. I guess we did though. Chad, is there any way to see which ones you've gotten? I think there is, right? Isn't there like a isn't there like a um a showcase of them all or something? Oh, that was yesterday's. Oh, okay, cool. Feed into the dark side. The pain makes you stronger, dude. Dude, you, dude, Sith lords are the biggest pussies ever because what always happens, especially. Okay, well I'm not gonna spoil anything. What always happens, dude? Oh, yeah, 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 it's here. I think there's, like, a little showcase here. So we can see which ones we've gotten. Isn't there a showcase, or am I high? I think it's in here, yeah. Isn't it? I swear, I thought... I thought the dude put him up somewhere. Like, there was a little, uh, little shrine. Or am I wrong? I swear that exists! Okay, Sith Lords are fucking pussies, you know why? Because, like, every single one is so edgy and so dark and so evil. And then what always happens? They turn good at the end. Like, dude, have some conviction. God. If you're gonna be such a, like, an edgelord, you know, why don't you, why don't you have some conviction and stick it out? But they always are like, now I'm good at the very end! It's like, okay, a little, little too late, buddy. A little too late, you know, you kind of murdered a lot of children. <laughs> Uh, is there not a snow globe museum? What the fuck am I thinking of? All right, whatever. All right, well, I'm assuming we got this one then because I can't find it. Oh, it's in the presidential suite. Where to, partner? Let's go check that out then. Is it? Madden and Summerfall on Fox NFL games they ruled. What's up? Yeah, dude, I know football. Ask me any football question you want. I'll know it. Which guy was the biggest football to ever football? <laughs> Easy. Peyton Manning. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Where is this? Oh, there we... What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Wait, we don't have the fuck. What the f... Oh, it must be in our inventory, and we haven't given... It yeah, okay, okay. That's what we... Yeah, all right. So, should we go give it to... I think we should go give it now. High roller, sweet. High roller, sweet. I'll see you later, Scarlet. Ab in or enjoy your luck. Okay, let's go to the cocktail. No. Yes. The cocktail lounge. No, goddamn. Why do they have this part? This part is so useless. Take me to the penthouse. Yes. What up, Jane? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Darth Maul. Okay, if we're going to talk semantics, some of them stick it out. All right, but you can't deny that a lot of them go, now I'm sensitive at the end. Yeah, okay. 
I've got some snow globes for Mr. House's collection. You do? Whoa! Well, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, look, Mormon Fort, Hoover Dam, Mount Charleston, and Nellis Air Force Base. Wait, we didn't get the test site. What the fuck? Where is this? Hold the, hold the, hold the gosh darn phone. In the cocktail lounge, on the counter, behind a cash register. Okay, did I just straight up miss this? What the heck? What up, dude? Where to, partner? I need to go to the cocktail lounge. And there, I guess we missed it. Or am I going crazy? What is happening? It must be behind one of these, and I wasn't just look. Cause it didn't say test site. What the fuck? A lot only Vader. Well, I'm trying not to spoil. There's more, but I don't want to spoil anything. What I would say would be a spoiler. There. Look at this. Look at this. Are you serious? Obsidian, you putting this shit back here with like a hundred other things that all looks very similar to each other? Are you serious right now? Look at this! God, forgot it's there. Wow. Okay, there you go. That's the only point of this entire floor is just for that. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Jeez Louise, that's hidden. I forgot it was that hidden, my god. The cocktail lounge is useless. It is! Other than that. A father's love thing. Mount Charleston is really pretty in real life. Wait, where? Wait, where is it? I want, I'm curious. Hold on. Mount Charleston. Where is that? I mean, obviously it's Nevada, but is it? What does it border? Let me look at the. Let me look at a map. Yeah, not a two-foot map. Come on, man. Oh my god, can I get like a US map that shows the other... <sighs> Alright, fuck you, Google. Have you guys ever looked up maps on Google? It's like, it's hit or miss. Okay, uh, this next one is in Vault 21. Which, um, if you don't know, oh boy, are you in for a treat. Where, where do you think Vault 21 might be? Huh, could be out in the waste, right? Could just be out in the waste, some random place. It's probably... Okay, don't look at that. It could be, um, could be anywhere. Where, where the heck is it? I don't know. Behind a register? Yeah. I didn't realize. Uh, I didn't forget to upgrade. I just want to do this first. I want to make sure we, we get this done first and foremost. I sent, I think, apologies if it went down. Uh, I didn't get a whisper. Unless you sent it on Twitter or... or um, if you sent it on Twitter or uh, the Discord, I, I will have gotten it. But I don't know for sure. Okay, so here's Vault 21. Check it out. It's a, it's a gift shop. Or at least it's like a whole thing. It, it's it's on the strip, is my point. Now, there is a snow globe in here, and I don't remember where it is. We'll look for it. Uh, by the way, chat, I don't want to know where it is. I, I want to find it myself. I just want to know the general area, and then we can, you know, get a better idea. And we're not going to talk to her just yet. I guess they'll never miss. Who will never miss? I navigated Japan expertly with Google Maps, saved my skin many times. Oh, no, Google Maps is great. Google Maps. I'm talking about, have you ever looked up a map on Google Images? Uh, they're like terrible. I, they're like so, they're so small uh, very often. Um, I hate them. And then also like a lot of the times, they're not like blown up to see the outer area. So you have no context as to where it is. I love Google Maps. I can't, I couldn't even like live without Google Maps. I would like be in a ditch right now, getting like my skin carved off bit by bit and fed to people. Um, man, what the hell? I don't want to like explore this full vault. Where the heck is it? Probably in one of these random rooms, I would bet. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to keep a sharp eye because I don't want to have to like find this shit and then I don't want to have to like come back here. I don't want to have to come back here, mister. I'll do Discord, I guess. If you send it on Twitter, I'll get it. Uh, if you tried to send it on... If you tried to send it here, though, I did not get a whisper, no. You gotta type slash W, space the person's name, and then space your message. That's how you do a whisper. Although it's a pretty archaic form of messaging, I would say. Man, where is this thing? This vault is freaking huge. I don't remember this vault at all. Seems to be the main idea with um, 
this entire Let's Play is not remembering anything whatsoever. Okay. Might just have to look it up because this vault is way bigger than I would have guessed. Although, it might be in one of these. What's that? Strip letter three? See, that looks like a little snow globe. That, that throws us off. Smasher? Hey, what's up, Fallout Ames? Welcome to your own titular video game. I love that word, titular. People that don't know what it means think thinks I'm saying something funny. But in reality, it refers to as... It refers to referring to the title. It's a very smart word. Gosh dang. Hey, what is this? Outer Worlds? <laughs> Can't go in anywhere because everything's like locked or not a real building. <laughs> oh, oh, can't, oh. Sorry, can't talk bad about Outer Worlds. I, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, it's a masterpiece. Just kidding. The Outer Worlds is a masterpiece. It's so good. Oh my god, it's it's the Fallout killer. It's so good. I love 90% of di I, I love I love my games being 90% dialogue. It's so fun. But it's really good dialogue. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, it's so good. It's it's What's only dialogue. Looks That's how good change. it is. I can feel it. Shut up. We ain't doing your quest yet. Okay, where's this gosh darn thing? All right, let me just see if it's in the vault or not. If, we, if it's not even in the vault, we're wasting our time here. It is not in the vault. Oh, it is in the vault. There's an... Okay, so we're looking for an average locked door. That's our other hint. GV would end up in the cabin in the woods without Google Maps. Yeah, exactly. No, seriously, you don't know how true that is. Uh, I can't navigate for shit. And Mary laughs at me, and she doesn't understand. It's like, Mary, you can laugh at me all you want. But if we don't use Google Maps to go two streets down the road, uh, we will end up in a different state. And she's like, haha. And I'm like, I'm dead serious, Mary. She doesn't get it. Oh my god, what are you people doing in here? Oh yeah, it's a hotel. That's right, I forgot. This whole thing's a hotel. Okay, there's some average lot door somewhere, and I don't know where it is. There's like a hundred doors in this freaking vault. Oh, everything's not even locked. Maybe downstairs. How dare you? How dare I? Oh, Outer Worlds? Yeah. No, it's great! I love it! In all seriousness, I have been playing a lot of it off camera. Um, it's really, it's not my type of game, man. I do not like it. I'm not liking it. I, I would say it's a good game. It is a good game. Average? There we go, there it is. Okay, let's make a save. It, Outer Worlds is a good game, but it's just that it's not, it's definitely not as good as everybody is saying it is. It, it's just not, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's not, it's got good writing, it's got, I mean, think about the characters, the character. Okay, you know what really, like, solidified my opinions on the Outer World was... Oh, no, I lost karma. Oh, whatever will I do? Look! There it is! Look at him. He's like, look at me! I got four aces! He must have cheated, because how? what are the astro what are the astronomical odds of getting, like, all the aces in a deck? Freaking Vault Boy's cheating. Give me. Sweet. Achievement unlocked Globetrotter. Okay, so we got the achievement for getting all the globes, but, um... I don't think that's accurate because I think that j that's counting the dead money one. So I think we've got one more, basically. Also, let's put this here so it'll tell me how the hell to get out of here, hopefully. Will it? Where am I going? Tenter? It's still better than Fallout 76? Oh, yeah, but I don't even, That's the funny thing, too. Like, Fallout 76 is so bad that I don't even consider it a Fallout game. I genuinely don't. I know it, like, it's, in name it is, but... That is not my Fallout. Hashtag not my Fallout, you know? That's not a Fallout game. Fallout 76 is a, is a, phew, that's not a Watch Fallout, that's not a Fallout game. Um, so yeah, it, it is better, but they, to my, in my opinion, they can't even be compared because one's like a multiplayer camping simulator and the other one's like an actual, you know, attempt at an RPG. It is a good game. The Outer Worlds is a good game. It's just, it's like a solid 7.5. It, it doesn't really go past that, you know, and people are treating it like it's the Messiah. It ain't the Messiah, man. I'm sorry to tell you, it's not. I mean, to each their own, of course. You can have your own opinion, but... Eh. Who said you can't talk bad about the Outer Worlds? <laughs> no, nobody said that, but I just feel like... I feel like that's the case, you know? I I'm, I'm, I started with Fallout and Elder Scrolls, so... I have to love everything Obsidian does. Like, you're supposed to love everything Obsidian does. It just feels like that's the... That's the, um... The narrative these days. Okay. As I'm loving something Obsidian has done here, because I love this game. Alright, so, the strip one's done. So the next, yeah, the next four just, oh, the next four are DLC. So that's it. That's it. I think we got all of them. Yeah, we, we got one for the uh, first DLC, but there's one for each of the other three. So we have to remember that. 
Yep, that's it. So we'll go back. Uh, we'll hand him into Jane, and then we'll upgrade the uh, Lucky Thirty Eight and see what how much is that how much that's gonna cost. I do remember there being upgrades. Yeah, so bizarre. Let's go do that. Use Google Maps to find the globe. <laughs> I don't think uh, the Pit Boy has that installed. Borderlands Three Game of the Year Edition, twenty nineteen. Dude, in all honesty, I, li I liked Borderlands 3 more so than I did The Outer Worlds, which is bizarre to think about. Uh, Borderlands 3 I treat as very, like, uh, the Borderlands series I treat as very, like, kind of casual, you know. It's, you just jump in, you shoot a bunch of, um, shoot a bunch of things, and you just run around. Also, she's got pasties on. It's A-OK, -okay, hopefully. You never know with YouTube. You never know with YouTube. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just deleted my channel. And said, there's titties on your on your YouTube video. Deleted. Goodbye. As for our new policy, set in tonight, it's it's deleted now. Where to, partner? Where to, partner? Let's go to, uh, God, I always, I still don't even know the distinction here. After hours and hours of playing this shit. Vault Boy loses because I have five aces. Dang, dude. Dang. Also, isn't Jane so hot? God, her cold, metallic body. I can't even contain myself. Her whirly gig up there. Look at Jane's whirly gig. I mean, come on. Girls often don't have a whirly gig of that of that nature. I mean, Mary's got a pretty good whirly gig, but look how fast that one spins. Come on now. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. That's it, though. Do you have any other... There's no other dialogue about that? Okay, so test site removed, the strip removed, and that's it. And now we can go check on it. Penthouse floor. Penthouse floor. Let's go to, uh, presidential slate. Fallout 76 is a joke and I'm not laughing. Fallout 76 has been nothing but a disaster for Bethesda and they keep shooting themselves in the foot. Fallout 76 was silent but deadly for <laughs> all of it. Never heard it described as that. Yeah, we've shat on Fallout 76 eight million times here, so I, I kind of don't like beating a dead horse. But, um... I do think the Outer Worlds is, uh, you know, obviously if you're looking for a, if you look, if you're looking for an RPG experience, of course Outer Worlds is better because it's an actual RPG. But um, both of them have definite flaws, in my opinion. Uh, so first of all, let's go look at that snow globe collection. <gasps> oh, do 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 do. What's the what's the Fallout what's the Fallout New Vegas theme song? Where the big iron on his hip. Okay, this joke is going nowhere. Anyways, Good Springs, right. Mormon Fort, Hoover Dam, Mount Charleston, the Strip, that's the test site, Nellis AFB. We've got the Sierra Madre one up there. There's going to be one, two, three more uh, for the three other DLCs, and that's all the snow globes in the game. Now, let's do this little PC here. What the heck does this do? Upgrades. Why have I? Why did I never look at this? I mean, I've done this before. I did everything in New Vegas, like at one point, but well, maybe not, because there were a lot of quests that I never even. I did everything that I wasn't locked out of. This playthrough, I'm not getting locked out of a lot of shit, which is really good, which is why I'm experiencing it for the first time. But I've definitely done this. I just don't remember how much it costs. Whoa! What the hell? Oh dang! We definitely got the caps. But look at my caps. We're rolling, by the way. Sixty thousand caps almost. Crafting Locker 1. What do you mean it weighs stuff? What the fuck? What is this weigh stuff? Crafting Locker 1. Crafting Locker 2. Fridge. Guest Wardrobe 1. Guest Wardrobe 2. Master Wardrobe 1. Master Wardrobe 2. SS Vending Machine. Weapon Trunk 1. Weapon Trunk 2. Workbench. 1,200 caps. Not bad. Except... Oh, dang. Yeah, look. This wasn't here before. Weapon Trunk 2. So let's take a look around the Lucky 38 and see what's changed. Man, why do I not remember being able to upgrade? That's so odd. Anyways, um, I don't know because I haven't taken that big of a look around the Lucky 38 in this playthrough specifically, but obviously we have a lot of different shit now. What's up? I'm not sure exactly what, but everything's just kind of, you know, fitted a little bit more with, uh, with, with increased digs. Today's physician, don't mind it. Okay, great. <laughs> That's why I try not to interact things with with things in player homes. Oblivion is the worst. Dude, Oblivion is the worst. By the way, holy shit, I really want to play um Morrowind and, and, and Skyrim. I'm I'm getting the bug, folks. 
It's not the type of thing where I just feel compelled to play because that's what people want to see me play. I'm genuinely feeling a bug to play both Morwind and Skyrim in some capacity. So, if you ever, if you want to see me do it, uh, keep Talk in mind there might so be here. something. I don't know what, whether it's going to be streamed or maybe a YouTube break with something. It is, uh... I am getting the bug, so just keep that in mind. Keep an eye out. Follow me on Twitter. Follow my Twitch. Follow follow all the shit if you don't want to miss it. Oh, Sunset Sarsaparilla Machine. That's what SS meant. Duh. So yeah, we have a lot of different future weapons today. We have a lot of different stuff now, which is pretty neat. Um, we got a fridge. We got some workbench lockers. A lot of different stuff. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, that's it, though. <coughs> Thanks for the socials, y'all. Can you read the Lusty Argonian Maid? Um, what, in Skyrim? In a Skyrim series? Can I rig the birthday stream poll to put more wind at the top? Oh, that could actually... Huh, I didn't think about that. Maybe start, like, a thing. Well, I want to do, like, a more wind series on YouTube, because the one I have now is not that great, to be honest. Well, maybe a Skyrim series or something. Huh. I don't know. That I didn't think about that, though. Doing a birthday stream, like, warming up with something. Or, or doing starting new. That that might be good. Uh, drive safe, Ace of Swords. Fun fact, three out of four DLC snow globes don't snow. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I suck and need to take it to someone smarter than I. Yeah, good luck with that, Vicious. I, um... I would, I would never attempt to fix anything regarding a PC ever. I am very scared at that prospect. I stored all my unique stuff from Dead Money in one wardrobe because you can sort it by weapons, armor, and miscellaneous, so I can store all uniques from each DLC in a separate wardrobe or locker. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put them all in the same shit, but that makes me happy because I'm a very organized person in real life and in video games. But I'm not about to spend the rest of the stream, you know, moving all the stuff around. Hasn't snowed in Las Vegas since December 08? Dang. That was a long time. I've been meaning to play Morrowind too. Yeah, dude. I'm kind of I'm kind of wanting to do it like now. Nah. Well, we'll think about it. Hold on. Well, we'll let's we got to stay on topic here. Got to stay on topic. When the game loads that theme song's plays. Yeah. Yeah, when the theme I know. I, I love the theme song, dude. It's so good. Um it's like do 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 dum bum ba dum bum bum bum. It's time for more Rowind. I love it so much, and I can't even believe that Todd Howard sung that himself. It's I roll her sweet. I roll her sweet. Uh, do we have any unique weapons? We can afford to go get some first. Yeah, let's go to the casino. Casino floor. Did I ask you? Uh, all right, everybody. Let, so that's it for the snow globes. I knew that was going to be pretty quick. I thought there were more than that. I thought this was going to be a more a bigger undertaking, but I guess not. The stones of Berenzia in freaking Skyrim is is fucking awful. <laughs> that's something that if I ever do again, yeah, we'll definitely be streaming because that's going to take. That's like a full time job. Okay, can I make this jump? What do you think? I don't think. I think it's barely above. Ah! No, that's not going to happen. Um. All right. Well, yeah, that went fast. Uh, let's save again, and let's start looking for unique weapons. I at least want to knock down one whole subset of unique weapons. Uh, we didn't even do this in the other 100% series, but I kind of feel like doing them now. So, Fallout New Vegas unique weapons. Oh, what the hell? This is a this is a unique weapon I never got. The cram opener. I'm sure a lot of people never got this one either because how you get this is very odd. So let me just read the synopsis here. What the heck? So apparently, Little Buster, if anybody knows Little Buster, if you remember him, he's in Camp McCarran. Um, he's the little guy, like, you know, busting stuff up. Um, apparently, if you do the three-card bounty quest, which we did for Major Daughtry... Is he over here? What is happening? What is going on over... 
Oh, these dirty, dirty fiends. God, always mucking up my Vegas. What are you, what are you, I'm gonna murder you. Do you realize what's, <laughs> do you even know what's in store for you? Holy crap, are you ready for this? I don't think she was ready for that. Gone done and lost her head. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, okay, wait, where, oh, is he like over there? So yeah, apparently if you do if you do the three card bounty quest for Major Daughtry, little Buster like leaves and he goes to Freeside, and then like after two in-game days, you can find his body near near railroad tracks. So I mean, there's railroad tracks right there. The question is, where's little Buster? Little Buster, is he over here? Oh yeah, this part. I remember the uh, or this area. Um, I didn't see no little Buster, little body. Did y'all see a little Buster anywhere? You guys ever go to Chipotle and like your stomach's so full and at the end of the day you just gotta drop a nice little buster? If I recall correctly, Morwin theme is called Nerevar Never Never Rising and the DLC quest is A Star is Born. Yeah, wait, wait, what is the... I mean, they're all the same. They're all like the, the same sort of... A remix of each other. The the main like Elder Scrolls theme. But yeah, it's the, it's the one with the little flute. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do, yeah, it's so good. Um, man, where's this freaking little Buster guy at? Must be at the wrong end. Let's see. Where is he? <clears throat> Via the North Gate. After one or two games, you find by the old Mormon... F what? What do you mean railroad tracks by the old Mormon Fort? There ain't no railroad tracks near the old Mormon Fort from what I remember. Well, let's head inside and go to the... I mean, we've been over near that area a million times. I don't remember seeing any little buster body, but let's go check. Can anyone be ready for spontaneous head explosion? I mean, I'm ready at all times. JFK obviously wasn't. Too soon. <laughs> Ain't that a shot in the head? Yes. That was my friend? Well, I told you, vicious lemurs. If you just tell me before I murder people in-game, I won't murder them. God, how many times do I have to tell you, dude? Seriously. Oh, okay, here's the railroad tracks. Oh, and there's his body. I think? Is that a body? Yeah, look at that! Holy crap, that's something I never knew. What the fuck? Look at little Buster! Yeah, there he is, and check it out! We've got the cram opener! Wow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the description of all of these unique weapons, since I don't know what they actually do. So the cram opener. Compared to, the, compared to its standard variant, the cram opener deals 7.7% more regular damage and 10% greater critical hit damage. It has 25% more durability and identical weapon critical hit multipliers and AP costs as well. In appearance, it's much darker than the standard, uh... What is the standard variant? Oh, bladed gauntlet. So it's darker. Well, that's weird. Okay, let's see. Next one's DLC. Next one's DLC. Next one's DLC. Next one's DLC. We already got the golden gloves. Those were in, um... The Lucky 38, the casino. We got those at some point in the in the in the Let's Play. Next one's DLC. Okay, we've got somebody here at Bonnie Springs. So we have to check if there's any quests, which there's not. So where is Bonnie Springs? Bonnie Springs. Near Vault 19. What was Vault 19? Which one was that? For the king, for the king, for the sake of Skyrim. Yeah, see, they all tie together. There it is. Check that out. Is Vault 19 the goddamn Viper? It is. I've been there so many times. I'm done with it. I'm done with freaking Vault 19. I'm not going there ever again. Okay, before we head over, uh, let's catch up with the chat real quick. Stand by me, the movie. Oh, yeah, maybe. Huh, yeah, maybe. Actually, I got the cram opener every playthrough. All you need to do is toss a grenade at the truck. He practices in front of it, kills him, but no one cares because it was an indirect explosion. You get a nice mid-game weapon. Oh, the more you know. Nice call, Robco. Daggerfall and Morwin are the top of the birthday pole. Okay, <laughs> well, they're not. I mean, yeah, because it's just like <laughs> whoever added the, the one the most recently, right? Little Buster had a little goatee. We'll check before we move. Developer for Bethesda, and I was thinking about making an original idea for the intro of Elder Scrolls 6. I was thinking you wake up in a wagon, and this guy says, hey, you, you're finally awake. Dude, that actually sounds real. Okay, Vicious Lemurs, like, 
I know you've done a lot for me. I know you've done a lot for the channel. Um, and I'm not saying this to like, no goatee. Blow up, dude! Dude, do you really think you're gonna be the one to take down Avery? I mean, have a go at it, but like, do you really think that's gonna be you? I don't know, have you? Bye-bye. Okay, anyways, will you blow up? Why is it not blowing up? There we go! Oh, God. Look how macabre that is for a freaking game from 2010. That's his freaking spine right there. Okay, we're gonna reload that. I don't think that's not in canon. Avery wouldn't just like destroy bodies for no reason. Okay, this guy's actually trying to come and get me though, dude. You, <laughs> you picked the wrong fight, bud. I don't, I don't know what you thought was gonna happen. Did, did you, did you, did you think you were the chosen one, the Dovakin? What, what were you thinking, dude? Now you don't even have a head. Your body doesn't even have a head. Are you guys gonna mess with me? Who are you? You're a king, and you're, yeah, you're the guy that sells that gross shit, right? The mantis. Hi. Yeah. Ugh, don't want none of that. Okay, let's head to. Bo what are you doing? Let's head to Bonnie Springs. Uh, there's apparently a Viper person there with a unique weapon, so we'll go find it. I don't remember which one it is. Spring Mountain Ranch State. Par oh yeah, that's near the uh, the cons. Uh, anyways, vicious. What I was gonna say was, um, yeah, man, I'm not fluffing you up or anything. That sounds like a 10 out of 10 idea. I think it's gonna go far. I think you're gonna get rich. I think Todd Howard's gonna come over, give you a back massage every Saturday. Uh, I think. I think, you know, the lead developer of Fallout 76 is going to come to your place, ask you for tips. How can we turn this around? How can we how can we make this a good game? What can we do? Vicious Lemurs, tell us. Give us your ideas. And, buddy, I'm just, What the heck is going on here? It's like the same person. He's... he's he, she? He? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what? By the way... Hard difficulty, FYI. This gun is just, uh... Believe it. Okay, okay, relax. I don't wanna. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. Oh shit, that was bad. I did not want to do this to you. You're forcing my hand, I'm afraid. What the fuck are you doing? This has happened so many times, by the way, like on and off camera, when I'm like, you know, I... Cool, dude! What the hell is even happening right now? Okay, there's vipers here. One of these people are uniquely named. Oh, God, God, God. Okay, we have to Oh, my Lord. All right, we need to actually be careful here. Hard difficulty, again. So we're looking... Is it? Is it her? Viper leader? I would, I would have thought they would have been uniquely named. Yep, there it is. Love and hate. That's it. Yep, love and hate. That's the unique weapon. Let's read up on it real quick. Ahem. Love and Hate. Spiked Knuckles. Love and Hate is a unique pair of knuckle dusters which deal more damage than the standard variants. The attached spiked plates have the words Love and Hate embossed on them and are stained with blood. It is considered a holdout weapon and can be carried concealed to weapons-free locations regardless of the courier sneak skill. Interesting. Yeah, so they actually put some good work into those, although I don't know why it's on a, like an un unnamed viper. That's kind of odd. Okay, they want to tussle with the muscle, and I'm willing to... Are you going to be the one? Here, you, you can have a shot. You can have a shot. Here, if you can get... If you can... If you, if your AI can get out of that path thing. Here, come on over. What's your name? I'm assuming you're a... What are you even doing? I mean, if you can't get over here, then I'm just going to have to... Wanted to give her a shot. Your poll is listed by most voted on top and least voted on the bottom. Oh... Dang, Sean, that's actually going to be really helpful then. I did not know it was like that. That's going to be super duper helpful when we actually look at the results. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, cool. That's actually really good. Um, Alright, so there's that. Uh, let's see. 
Let's save. And let's find another unique weapon real quick. Oh, I wanted to pause real quick also. Uh, anybody in the chat, if you're new here, first of all, welcome. Nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. If you're uh, from the if you're from the YouTubes or if you're just looking up New Vegas people on Twitch, hello, welcome. Um, please join the Discord if you'd like. The link is now in the description. Uh, go ahead and give it a shot if you if you want to. Um, also, check out that poll that Robco put right above. That poll will let you submit a, a game for the 20, 11, 26 birthday stream. We're gonna do a big special like twelve hour at least stream the 26th now everybody that heard me talk about this before actually let's pick a destination before we talk about this okay next one is gonna be in black rock cave and where is black rock cave Damn, dude, where is this place? All the way up here? It's not giving me much landmarks to map the- Oh, there we go. Somewhere over here. There! I gotcha, Black Rock Cave. Um, yeah, so anybody that uh, has heard me talk about... Which one do we want to go to? Let's go here. To anybody that's heard me talk about the birthday stream, uh, we moved it. Uh, if you saw the Discord message, you might have, um, you might have, you might have seen that we moved it. So what we're going to do is, it's going to be on the 26th. Not Monday, but Tuesday. Originally, we had it for Tuesday. Oh, fuck, really? <sighs> Wait, how do we get to this place? Guess we got to go back from Black Mountain. Um, yeah, originally we had it for Monday, the 25th, but now it's going to be Tuesday, the 26th. The reason, because my birthday is on the 27th. I didn't really want people to know. I'm like, kind of, you know... I, I like keeping my personal information as private as possible, but, you know, like, everybody everybody knows PewDiePie's full name, where he lives, all that shit, so I figured, you know, what, what's the what, what's the worst that could happen? So, yeah, my birthday is actually the 27th, but I have plans with my girlfriend for my birthday, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a birthday stream on the 26th, and then go... If there's an invisible wall here, I'm gonna lose my shit. The invisible wall's in this game, and you gotta stop. You've got to stop. There better be a way past this point. How do you get to this place? This, this cave is like the most well-hidden secret in New Vegas history. Um, so now we're going to do a, a, 20, a birthday uh, stream on the 26th. And we're going to go 12 hours. We're going to start from 1 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to go 12 hours. We're going to go up till uh, 1 a.m. the 27th. So it'll actually be my birthday at midnight. You know, so I, I didn't feel good about having a birthday stream and not actually having it be my birthday. I feel like that's kind of lame, you know. Um, and even though I have... Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. How the hell? There's invisible walls everywhere in this game. Really annoying. Locked hard, that's fine. So anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna... It's the 26th now, not the 25th. Tuesday, the 20... Oh my fucking god, how do you get here? What is this? Where is this place? What the heck? I'm tempted to use the console. I won't, because I don't think I've used the console yet for any, like, sort of cheating habits. Or any sort of cheating, like... The, <laughs> these invisible walls are just really annoying, though. Uh, anyways, yeah, so the 26th Tuesday, next Tuesday, a week from now, is going to be the birthday 12-hour Big Bash stream. Uh, we're going to be taking the poll results from the poll that... Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, so wait. Alright, we can figure this out. So if I'm looking this way... It's like, I gotta go past over here. We tried Helios 1, that wasn't gonna work. Do I literally have to go from here around to... <sighs> That's annoying. God! <laughs> Alright, whatever. It is what it is. Um, Let's put a thing here. Wait, no, let's put a thing here. Is that another vault? Vault 11, which one's that? Oh, that's the... Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. Anyways, so again, 26th. One week from now, Tuesday, we're going to do a 12-hour, like, birthday stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. So come check it out if you so wish. And also, submit a game to the poll if you want to do that, too. Okay, sound good? My Thanksgiving break is supposed to start next week. Next Wednesday. But I'm skipping classes Monday and Tuesday to start it Friday. What happened to my brain just now? It just like short-circuited. 
next Wednesday, but I'm skipping class Monday and Tuesday to start at Friday. Wait, what? Dude, this is what my brain does. You better let me get over this gosh darn mountain. I'm a <laughs> How do you get over here? What? This is insanity. Why design an open world game like this? I genuinely cannot stand these invisible walls in this game. It's, it's my least favorite thing by far. Oh my fucking god, how do you get to this? How do you get- how, how do you get here? What is this right now? What is going on? Uh... Bisapia, thank you for the follow up to the stream. Nice to see ya. Maybe it's just- yeah, it must be just like right over there. I probably made it really hard on myself for no reason. New Vegas, not the more- <laughs> I, I mean, are you looking at the invisible walls? They're everywhere. Oh, you mean, oh, you're starting at the- oh, now I get you. You're doing a whole- yeah, okay, now I understand. I had no idea what the hell you were talking about, dude. <laughs> uh, I was- I was trying to figure it out. That- that's like my brain sometimes will get caught up on the dumbest little- dumbest little, uh... uh fight! Dumbest little details and, like, throw my brain for a loop. It's weird. It must just be over there. It must be that black hole, huh? Yeah, that's gotta be it. I made it way too hard on myself. Hope everyone is well under the weather a bit myself, but this is a nice pick-me-up to wake up to. What's up, Trey Terra? Sorry to hear you're sick, man. What are you sick with? Tell us all the gruesome details, please, if you would. Also, let's uh, heal some radiation real quick. Very nice. Also, let's get rid of this. Very nice. Oh, hey, it's your golden birthday, too? My golden birthday? I know you've probably been asking a million times, what are your cat's names that are so cute? Oh, thank you! Uh, you know what? We'll do a kitty treats on the house. Yeah, we'll do a kitty treats on the house. Uh, yeah, so the one on the right there is Greyjoy, who can tell when I'm talking about him. The one on the left is Yen. Uh, they're lovely kitties. In fact, if you're a subscriber in the chat, you can use Vana Yen, or you can use Vana Grey to uh, show them off to other people's chats. And we'll give them a couple of kitty treats. As long as they don't move. Yeah, he can tell. Look, he's going nuts. There we go. Finally made it happen. Yeah, so they're Yen and Greyjoy. They're wonderful cats. Oh no, don't crash. Whew, okay. <clears throat> 27 on the 27th is called the Golden Birthday? Oh, really? Oh, like, oh, if you just get, if you have a birthday on your... What the fuck? Don't get close to me. Ah! Yo! Sometimes I press the trigger and I swear it doesn't press. Oh, so a golden birthday is if, like, if you're, like, you know, like, 04, 04, that's a golden birth. Or, no, 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 no. No, if you're, like, 30 on the 30th, that's a golden birthday. I never heard of that term before. That's interesting. Okay, so there is a unique weapon in here. I think I have gotten this one before. Uh, Black Rock Cavern, yeah. So let's go find it. Gosh darn, it's dark as the dickens in here. Wait, have we... Okay, well that's a nightkin for anyone that hasn't seen one. Wasn't expecting to find that here. Bumper sword frag grenade. Okay, we're looking for- oh Jesus. Oh Jesus! Can't even see this man. Okay, relax pal, dude. Holy shit. Oh, he's right in front of me. Where is he? Got him! Oh, it's a master. The Nightkin master. Okay, reload, Avery. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you trying to hobble away? Oh! Bye, sir. Nice try. Hey, what up, Fuzzy Womp? Cuteness overdose? Yeah, they're wonderful cats. They really are. I love them to gosh darn death. And they all and they always appreciate the kind words. So thank you. Everybody see everybody's you all say a lot of kind things, and it goes straight to their heads. Straight to their heads. No, yeah. They finally stayed for once. We witnessed his- I know, history in the making. Yeah, they usually- Greyjoy always ruins it by getting up and moving around and getting off camera. 
Like, the only reason I got them was to, you know, spur people to subscribe and donate. <laughs> Voice just cracked. Yeah, to subscribe and donate. I, mean, I actually don't really care about them whatsoever. I just, um, I use them to get money, to be honest. Okay. Let's see. Speaking of, if you all don't sub, they go hungry. It's so sad. I... Honestly, I, I, what I said before was a lie. I, I love them to death, and honestly, if nobody subs or donates or gives bits, especially not like what happened at the start of this stream, um, they, they go hungry. I don't, I, they, I'm, it's so sad. Uh, maybe, maybe if you like make a Facebook post though and get your friends to like it, they'll get some uh, money. Ah! They'll get some money somehow magically. Those likes will translate into change because that's how it works. Where the fuck are you? Where the heck? Oh, he's running for the hills! Is he just running at it? Did he? <laughs> no! He's about to throw a grenade. Oh my god, I saw that shit. Put that away, sir. <laughs> he's about to throw, chuck a grenade my way. Let's see. Boop, boop. Yep, see? There it is. My golden birthday was two years ago. My golden birthday happened when I was seven. Mine was when I was 15. Oh, yeah, and it's the it, the full understanding is finally dawning on me, huh? Yeah, I haven't had it yet. Yeah, I'll be 27 on the 27th this year, so it'll be my golden birthday. Huh. That means Mary's already had her golden birthday. Oh, there it is. Paladin Toaster. EMP bonus damage versus robots power damage. See, that one actually says what it does. Thank you. So there it is. There's the Paladin Toaster. What's that, Hydra? Shouldn't have been a druggie, huh? Now you're dead. Playing New Vegas, but I can't get Malcolm Holmes to appear. Does anybody know have any advice? That is weird. Everybody told me in my comments that he appears no matter what when you get a like a star, your first star cap or something. So like he can appear super early if you get a super early uh, star cap. Um, everybody says like he always gets, he always appears at uh, Nipton or Nipton or Novak. Nipton, Nipton. Yeah, so if he hasn't appeared, I don't know why, man. That's that's bizarre. More like bitchkin. Uh, that's quite mean. AD, uh, we do not say the B word here on this stream, and if you do that again, I am going to have to ban you. So please stop. Thank you very much. That's a joke, by the way. I often say the F word and all sorts of bad things. Okay, so that's that. Let's take a look at what the Paladin Toaster does. Paladin Toaster. The Paladin Toaster has a black and gray casing as opposed to the Zap Gloves blue and yellow, as well as green lights along the wrist instead of blue. There are three coils along each side similar to the heating coils of an actual toaster. It inflicts more damage than the Zap Glove and does power bonus damage against robots and enemies wearing power armor. Very cool. Uh, looks like that's it for the unarmed weapons. We have all of the unique unarmed weapons. The other, Well, the others are DLC, which we're going to have to... Oh, shh. Oh no, we're fine. We got everything in uh we got everything in Oh, there are some Gunrunners Arsenal stuff. We'll save all that shit for the end though, because that's gonna take a lot of money. Okay, the only other stuff are GRA and um DLC. So that's it for the unarmed weapons, other than GRA and DLC stuff. So we have melee weapons. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, Blade of the East. Ah oh, shit. We might we we might miss that one, depending on what we do. Probably won't though, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to have to hold off on that. Um, broad Machete. Oh, boy, I hope I saved that because that was unique. Yeah, Broad Machete. That was a unique one. Oh, Chance's Knife. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go get that. I got that in my last playthrough of New Vegas on stream. Oh, God. This is a nightmare to get. <laughs> or at least it was when I started. Okay, this one. So, yeah, this one's near Bonnie Ranch. Bonnie Springs. Where the heck are you, dude? I swear, like, I see where it's at, and yet it, it disappears from me. Spring Mountain State? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yes, there. There is a unique weapon hiding here. So the last New Vegas, I, the, the last New Vegas playthrough I did was uh, a serial killer playthrough. That was a long, long time ago. We did a serial killer playthrough uh, as a guy named Jack Bundy? I think, yeah, Jack Bundy. Uh, it was an amalgamation of, oh, by the way, the reason it sucks is because of that right there. 
Uh, it was an amalgamation of, like, Ted Bundy and someone else. We were playing a serial killer, so that it was fun. The whole thing was, like, if somebody says a certain line of words, anything resembling, like, childhood, like child or kid or, hey, kids, stop what you're doing, something like that, we'd end up killing them and we'd put a, um... We would put, like, a little teddy bear or Dinky the Dinosaur or rocket ship on their body. It was a lot of fun. Shout out to anybody that, uh, that was there for that. That was a lot of fun. So, anyways, we went and grabbed this knife, and you'll see why. You remember that playthrough? Yeah, that was fun, man. That was, that was a good one. That was, like, one of the best things I did early, early GV stream. <laughs> hey, what's up, BEM? Welcome to the stream. And Purple28, thank you for the follow. God. Oh, shit, that's not a good start. God damn, what the hell just happened to my HP? Okay, not a great start at all. Avery, you're killing us both, dude. Died of the DLT, you little bitch. Oh, did you see that shot? Did you see? Did you see that shot? Jack the Ripper? Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, it was an amalgamation of two serial killers. Definitely Ted Bundy. I forget what the other one was, though. Probably Jack the Ripper, yeah. I remember that run, Good Times. Damn, yeah. Oh, Plant Pun. Yeah, Plant Pun's been around. That stream was so fun to watch. Thank you. And hello, hi. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> I just said hello, hi. Uh, hello, Purple28. What made you decide to do this stream? Uh, I'm basically addicted to streaming, and if I have any downtime, I'm probably just gonna end up streaming. Plus, I'm kind of testing the waters of full time streaming. If we can balance it with YouTube, that would be a lot of fun, I think. The name and the gimmick before you said it. Yeah, I remember Mary really enjoyed that one, too. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, that guy's been deleted. Oh, my God! Who needs vets? Unless you're many a true nerd, you're not an actual serial killer. I don't understand that. <laughs> um, I know many a true nerd does Fallout stuff. I know he's like a, he's a fellow Fallout Elder Scrolls type per- Get off of that body! That's grotesque. Oh my god, who needs vats? Dude, call me a sharpshooter. Okay, okay, okay. Shit, never mind. Ah! <laughs> Bye, bitch. Got close. Got closer than most. Got closer than most. Whoa! What the- Get away from me. Gonna make me waste a freaking anti venom. Stop. The clonopin helps so much. In my research, that was one that came up, BEM. I'm glad it's working out for you. Um, yeah, I remember people talking about that specific, um, that specific, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm glad it's working out, BEM. I've heard some good things about certain ones like that. I love his dark British heart. I'm gonna drink on the birthday stream. You're still sticking with the quote. Um, no, I think. Well, maybe because it's a birthday stream, but I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to. Like I said, it doesn't seem to add anything. I was, I was thinking about it already. I was like, should I? And I was like, eh. What benefit does it really? You know, it, it's a waste of money. I don't even get drunk usually. Not that that's the goal. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't really do anything. I, mainly, it was just to drink for taste, get a little loose. That was about it. And I don't even know. I don't know if that really does anything. You know. <laughs> Got him! All right, here they come. Maury, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Let's see, hello. Mystic Mondays? Oh, God, I do remember that, yeah. Woo! <laughs> I do remember Mystic Mondays. Man, I had no idea what the fuck I was doing back then. <laughs> Which added to a certain charm. Oh, man, I'm landing these shots on a schedule so I don't miss it anymore. Yeah, so the best thing to do is obviously follow everything you can. I'm really good at tweeting everything out, putting it in the Discord, that sort of thing. So if you're in the Discord and you have at everyone's enabled, you'll always see when I go live. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll always see it. Uh, if you're subscribed on YouTube, I always upload a video. Um, oh god, alright. My lucky streak hath ended now. Come on. Come on. You got hammered that day, Mary donated 20 bucks for Matt to chug that bottle of vodka. Yeah, that was before. I think that was still when I was talking to the that 
one girl before. Oh my fuck. Oh my god! The damage! Yeah, that was before Mary and I was dating. We're dating. Not was dating. Um, come here. God damn it. Ooh, okay. Oh, and in terms of a scheduled blue-eyed mama, if we do... If we do um, solidify one, it most likely will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Damn, we're nailing all these perks. Don't even think about it. I've got Grim Reaper Sprint, you little bitch. Adios, muchacho. How many more? I can do this all day, you dirty, dirty Cazadors. You should burn it. What? Ugh. You're lucky. You're lucky. Not see you. Did not see you. Okay. Now, anti venom. Boop. A couple of stims. Yeah, so imagine doing that like near the start of the game. And you can imagine why this was so difficult. Jeez. During our serial killer playthrough. Are you sure I could have sworn that you and Mary had met each other in person before that happened? Um, Before the... Wait, what stream are you talking about? Because we did a stream after... Like, it was like the day after I got partnered. I got partnered, like, super quick on Twitch. Because of my YouTube following. And that was probably during the Skyrim times, too. So Twitch probably saw the Skyrim series and was like, Wow, this man's a superstar! Um... <laughs> Oh, a fire axe. We could, uh... No, I'm not taking that. Uh, anyways, I, I remember we did an ESO stream, like, right after I got partnered. And, yeah, I was attempting to finish an entire bottle of vodka with my roommate at the time. Uh, that went about as well as you could probably imagine. And my friend dipped out, went to bed super early. And me being a, in my early 20s, uh, idiot at the time said, Hey, I can do this myself! Because I had something to prove, didn't I? And then I drank the whole bottle of vodka by myself and got so incredibly drunk I was actively passing out on stream and then had to delete said stream woke up to my desk being absolutely covered in vomit uh, that I hadn't known about the previous night uh, just went to bed and didn't clean it so it was embedded in the carpet all over my desk and I just remember goddamn was it orange uh, orange and had tons and tons of carrots um, I must have eaten a fucking shitload of carrots the night before because it was just carrots everywhere. And then I deleted that stream, because that's not, uh, surprisingly, the best thing to have right after you get partnered on Twitch. Is a stream where that happens. So yeah, big mistake. As far as meeting Mary before, I don't think we- no, if you're talking about that, I definitely did not meet Mary before then. We were- we were not even- we might have been emailing each other, but we were not, uh, in any capacity romantically involved. Where is this fucking knife, by the way? Is it in the middle here? Where the hell is this thing? It, it's in here. I'm just wondering. I don't want to know, chat. Don't tell me. I'm going to figure it out, but... There's a hollowed out rock. Did we miss a body? I don't remember where this knife actually is. Let's make sure we look at every body. I don't think they would just put it on the, like, on the ground somewhere. That's not usually a good place to put a unique weapon, as far as I can tell. I'm not seeing it on any of those logs. Where the heck is this thing? Oh, isn't it buried? I think it's buried. It's like in a, yeah, it's like in a grave or something, if I remember right. I think that's what it is. Okay, hold on, chat. Don't tell me. I needs to find it myself. It's not in the toolbox. Yeah, I don't remember that. I think it's in a grave around here somewhere. I'm surprised it's not in this thing, though. Leather armor. Oh, shit. Yeah, we probably want that. Yeah, let's take the leather armor. Um, let's just uh, clean this area out real quick. Oh, we didn't look at this guy. But he does not have it. Yeah, none of these bodies have it. It's not in the middle here, right? There's, like, bloody handprints and shit, though. Mm, 
Okay. Yeah, it's definitely on a grave. Uh, we must have just missed a grave or something. Or is it just near here? I remember it. Yeah, I remember what it looked like. Okay, maybe it's... Uh, oh. Oh. What? Cazador? No. What the hell? Where is this thing? Let's uh, turn the corner over there. It might be like a little bit farther off. It might be a little bit farther off. Ilju, oh, Ilju, oh, sorry, yeah, the vomit thing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was gross, man. It, it, oh, man, you think that's bad. Okay, where the hell is this? What the heck? Oh, it's not even in the, oh my god, it's not even. It's its own location. Are you, is it an unmarked location? Is that why I'm getting confused? Wait a second. Yeah. That's what it is. It's an unmarked location. So there's a hill near here. Um, I don't know exactly where it is. Is it like up there maybe? Yeah, it's on a hill. Um, yeah, you think that's bad, dude. Oh my god, I still remember the day after. I was uh, one of the worst hangovers ever in my entire life, obviously. Yeah, it must be up here. One of the worst hangovers ever in my entire life. And then on top of it, I had to clean like the entire... I had to clean everything because it was so bad. Oh, God. That was a horrible, horrible, horrible night and horrible, horrible, horrible day. <laughs> and I remember I was watching some terrible David Schwimmer comedy on HBO while I was vacuuming everything with, like, a basically somebody hammering my head over and over with a hammer. Oh, that was terrible. So here's Chance's grave. Oh, you're kidding, right? <laughs> okay, time to go find a shovel. This is exactly what happened the first time I did this. Uh, Good Springs, I think. Isn't there one near the... I don't think there is one near the cemetery, because that would be easy. Man, where would a shovel be? Dang it, usually I keep a shovel on hand. Usually I keep a shovel on hand for this exact reason. Oh, crap. Where the hell am I going to find a shovel? There's probably one in Good Springs if, if this has good game design. Anybody know where a shovel is? Yeah, we were talking for sure, but we were not romantically involved. I was still talking to somebody else in a romantic fashion before then. Knife wielding Cazador? Now that's a little overkill. What's up, Purple? I'm doing good if you're asking me. I drank a liter and a half of Fireball in late September. My apartment room was soaked in. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Bacardi 151. Oh, I have a Bacardi 151 story too. I don't want to sound like an alcoholic though. Guess we all do. Yeah. Chet Shop. Another one at Good Spring Source. Good on you, Robco. Okay, let's go to Good Spring Source then. That'll be easy. Isn't that its own location? Yeah. Chet Shop and Good. Yeah, I was gonna check uh, Chet's shop. I figured he might have one. Whoa, guys, you don't want none of this. Trust me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If I can land a shot, you don't want none of this. Oh my god, okay. I am telling you! What did I say? Oh my god, they all went flying. I told him. I did tell him. You heard me. Okay, let's put that away. Uh, let's see. Shovel, shovel, shovel. I were a shovel at Good Spring Source, where would I be and what would I force? Matt had a bottle of vodka on Fiesta Fridays and he worked the next morning. The chat started daring him to chug and he said he would, if someone donated for him and Mary donated and he wussed out because he had to work early. Yeah, no, that was that, that's the night I'm talking about. I've only deleted like one or two streams and that was the, uh, that was the one that had to, no matter what, be deleted. Yeah, that, no, that's the exact night that I'm referring to. Because I, I remember that night like it was nothing. We played ESO. Um, I started getting way, 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 way too drunk. And then... Um, where would a shovel be, man? Let's go back up there. It might be up on the hill. Um, yeah, I remember we switched over to uh, the Laura, the Tomb Raider game. The first, like, reboot Tomb Raider game. And then I started, um, I started, like, actively passing out on chat because it was, like, too much and my brain was shutting down and I was just like, Ugh. and everybody was, like, texting me and telling me to stop and calling me to stop. 
and I, I I was so like oblivious to everything. Oh my god! It, yeah, that was it. That was it. That was a mess, and one of the only I think two or three deleted streams ever. Yeah, that was bad. It, is it up there? Where the hell is this thing, man? Also, what is this? Great, a briefcase with a leather belt. Wonderful. I would assume it would be over here, because this is what I was trying to find, the actual water source. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Who is this? That's not a who, that's a what. Man, where the hell? Alright, we're just gonna go see our buddy Chet. Probably gonna be easier. <clears throat> I think you missed this. What is that? Yo, what are we about to do? Oh, this, yeah. Yo, drink I've this seen vodka this. down the hatch, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like everybody's first taste of alcohol, pretty much. Uh, alcohol is disgusting. It all, it, the truth is, like, it's always disgusting. You just kind of learn to deal with it. Um, beer is, is delicious to me, but that's because I've drank many, many, many beers of which often... Where am I? What am I doing? That, that's... That's... Yeah. Beer eventually tastes, tasted good to me for a, for a long time. Every single type of alcohol, every alcohol just is disgusting. Um, and still to this day, I hate the taste of hard alcohol. Every single one. It's fucking... It's, it's grotesque. I cannot stand it. Okay, let's wait 12 hours. <coughs> Scrub the X's off her hands, got a wristband, proceeded to get smashed. Ended up being tossed over sh <laughs> Yeah, I knew a lot of females that had that sort of thing happen to them as well. Um, can't say I've ever been... God, I could probably count the amount of times I've been at a club on one hand versus the amount of times I've been at a dive bar. Clubs were never... Clubs were never my scene, man. There's a shovel right there. Okay, Chet, can you sell me something? You good for nothing, useless sack of garbage. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, Chet. Misc, right? And where's the S? Show me that S. Bro, you better have a shovel for sale. I see it. Is it a weapon? Bam! Somebody said it was five Pleasure caps. Doing business More with like you. twelve caps. Take it easy now. <sighs> okay. Finally. God, now we can go get that stupid weapon. First shot of vodka. At least you only watched a bad comedy the next morning and not an abortion like Pluto Nash. <laughs> Pluto Nash. Who the hell even knows what that is? Okay, where was that tribal place? There. Okay. Who the hell even knows what Pluto Nash? Man, what even was that? Pluto Nash. What the heck? Oh, and um, once again, I don't know if y'all are still here, but anybody that did all that crazy stuff at the beginning of the stream, thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know if y'all are still here, but seriously, I can't say it enough. Thank you so much. Do you like the sight of your own blood? No, I don't. I mean, you must, because you're trying to fist fight me. Do you? I mean, do you see what I look like? What do you think's gonna happen, lady? God, they just don't understand. Um, you know, I'm gonna. Mm, I'm gonna beat you in the head with a with a uh, golf club if you don't mind. Oh now, oh now you're changing your tune, huh? Now you're changing your tune as soon as I pull the golf club out, aren't you? Burned body? What the hell? Why did that happen? Finally, Chance's grave, great con, simple armor. All right, Chance's knife. So there we go. We got Chance's knife. This thing is cool. It. Uh, I'll show it. It is a bloody knife, straight up. Which is why I used it as my serial killer weapon, see? That's why I used it as a, my serial killer weapon in uh, my last playthrough, which was a lot of fun. So yeah, Chance's Knife. Let's take a look at what it does. Sorry that took 20 years. Bud Light's the only beer I can stomach. I don't drink any domestics like that. I find them to be terrible, but I will not judge you if you drink them, as a lot of people do. Uh, but domestics are... Especially Bud Light. I cannot stand the taste of that. Okay, this knife belonged to Chance, one of the great cons and a prominent character in the graphic novel All Roads. Graphic not what? The blade is still stained by the blood of the fiends it last killed at the tribal village. Oh. With a melee weapon skill of 100 and all the damage and attack speed boosting perts, its DPS becomes as prominent as Oh Baby, which is an outstanding feat considering it has 5% the weight. 2.5% with pack wrap. The only downside is that the lower damage makes it more vulnerable to high DT enemies. 
which is offset somewhat by poisons. Also because of the fact that it's near Good Springs, if a player can survive the nearby Cazadors, this weapon can be had at a very early level. Yeah. Chance's knife qualifies as an improved holdout weapon. Oh. If it's a holdout weapon, I think that'll be our new uh, melee weapon then. Yeah. So that's Chance's knife. Now, we've got the chopper, which is at Wolfhorn Ranch. Which is gonna be... Right about there. So I don't actually know where this thing is specifically, but we'll give it a go at finding it. The chopper. I don't know what that's supposed to be. <clears throat> Best melee weapon. Yeah, apparently it's really good. Uh, Moto Zombies, hello. I will never forget my grandpa's last words. Stop shaking the left. <laughs> I've heard that one before. <laughs> what up, Moto Zombie? Welcome to the stream. It's a game bug. She's supposed to be dead in the lore. The fiend leader at the tribal village had a flamer and chance destroyed it, but not before the leader burned a lot of people. Cool. Man, how do you figure that? This ain't like Dark Souls. You can't just read the um, descriptions of items to figure it out. How do you figure? How do you figure that out? What up, Raijin? Hey, welcome everybody that's new here. If you would give the stream a follow, uh, not to press you at all, but do it. Now I'll wait. Now I'll wait. We'll all wait. Okay, the joke's not going to work if you actually don't do it. Someone's coming to kill me. You better do it. Somebody better follow the stream. This person's going to kill me. I... Not one of you new people's going to hit that follow button? Just kidding. Oh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Oh, my God. Really? A one-hit kill with a melee weapon? We don't even have any melee skill. What the hell? Did I just take duct tape too, by the way? Ugh. Get that out of my inventory. No thanks. What is this, Fallout 4? Get the heck out of here. Okay, so I don't even know what this unique weapon is, but we'll go find it. Oh, I missed something from Blue-Eyed Mama. Blue-Eyed Mama, uh, repost that if you could. Oh, shit. Who's shooting me? Ah! Look at Mace diving on the grenade. Look at Mace. Look what you made him do. This is bad news. Oh, fuck. This is bad news. Oh, my God. Why do these people take... These legionary assassins are absolutely ridiculous, dude. If we don't get a critical hit, this is some bullshit. Jesus. These guys are made out of titanium. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. Well, look at that damage. No, 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 no. Stop. Oh, shit. Oh. Dude! Wow. Mace, thanks for the gift of sub to ADG2K18. Y'all made Mace jump on the grenade. Come on now. <laughs> that was some bullshit, dude. Wow. Yeah, those legionary assassins are no freaking joke. Where are we? Please tell me I got the... Did I get Chance's knife? Okay. Holy moly, where the heck was Wolfram Village? It was like down here somewhere, right? Right there, yep. What a joke. Five years ago, this guy 100% playthrough. Then I find a post on YouTube that says you're streaming. Hello? Uh, what's up? Your name's kind of getting cut off. I can't see what your name is, but hello. Dude, yeah, YouTube's a wonderful thing, man. Won't show somebody my videos for five straight years. Thanks so much, YouTube. Was that five That was not five years ago. Oh my god. No, was that five years ago? Oh. oh, there's a graphic novel on the area in the Fallout universe called All Roads that features Chance and his lore as a prominent character. Why have I never heard of this? Yeah, yeah, that's what it mentioned in the Chance um, description, but I've never heard of this. Uh, see you later, Fuzzy. Have a good night, man. Wolfram Village? Is that not what it's called? What is this place called? Wolfhorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> Wolfram Village. <laughs> All right. These freaking legionnaires. Are they back? Who is that? Who the hell are you, dude? God, why don't you try making friends, man? 
It's a lot easier, and you know what? You'll have a much longer life if you just try talking instead of just shooting. God, what is this, some kind of wasteland or something? Jeez, who are you? Oh, you're a viper. Oh, that makes sense then. You don't even know how to talk. <laughs> Could have been your OG Skyrim playthrough that you deleted with the OG. Oh, God. Man, look at Noah being the GV historian. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I just totally, I totally forgot that it even existed until right now. Huh. Kind of get teary-eyed watching Anger Management because the woman who played the judge had her last film role in that one, grew up with her as the chief. I watched that movie on a flight to Vegas, I think, um, ironically enough. Yeah, I watched uh, I watched Anger Management uh, for my sister's 21st birthday celebration bash in Las Vegas. First time I had ever been there. Man, Las Vegas is crazy. And I got mega, mega, mega sick, I think because of all the smog and smoke and general people that was literally in every square inch of that place. It was a lot. Okay, here's Wolfhorn Ranch. Apparently, there is a unique weapon here. What the hell is going on? There's a bunch of people. Is it? Oh, God, no. The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. All right, fair enough. I'm going to make a save, though. We can definitely do this. It might take a little chutzpah. Shut <laughs> the weapon right out of his hand. You like it. Oh, my God, the delay. All right. Let's go for this guy. Dude, the, these guys are ridiculous. He might die to the DOT. I'm not sure. That oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Misfortune. I was like, excuse me. Misfortune, by the way, has not done anything in this, in this let's... She has not done anything. Every time she's appeared, she hasn't done anything. She, she doesn't even deal, like, one damage. Okay, you're dead. Shit. Avery, not now, dude. Why does this happen? This has happened so many times. Three months from being four years. Oh, stop it! That's happened so many times, I have no idea why that happens. It's horrible. Growing up watching your content, where does the time go? I, I have no idea, man. I have no idea. It feels like, I was telling Mary, it feels like yesterday I was 23, and now I'm about to be 27. Ah! Cue that landslide song. Come on. And I've been like going through changes, cause I feel my life when I hear the time gets colder, even children get older, I'm getting older too. Fuck's sake, these guys are ridiculously OP. Ugh. No, I love that song. She's in the district too, and they had a tribute episode for her character after she died, blubbered like a whale. I don't know who that person is, to be honest. I don't know any of those things other than anger management. <laughs> Bye, buddy. I guess I should save after every kill because these guys are unbelievably overpowered. I mean, I am overpowered right now. And look how hard I have to fight to save my life here. Like, wh why? Why did they do it like this? Very bizarre. Come on, Avery. Come on, but I, lo I love seeing those microfusion cells pass by. It's so cool. Dude! Thank you. Okay, two more. Could use thump thump. Bye-bye. That's when he knew that he fucked up. Jeez Louise. Eight days ago, eight days ago, you're older, but stop it. Just stop. Just stop telling me the... Don't ever tell me the odds. Isn't Misfortune's thing screwing it? Oh, is that what's doing it? I guess that's what it is, because you know what? I never ever get misfortune, and people were telling me to get her, and so I did because I never get her, and I was like, yeah, that'll be fun. I wonder, man, yeah, that could actually be what's messing me up here, which is really shitty. Because <laughs> she doesn't do anything. Every time she spawned like three times in the Let's Play, and every time, uh, she hasn't done anything at all. Like, she, she may have done like one damage or something. 
Even children get older. I'm getting older too. Yeah, that is a good song. I love that song a lot. Fleetwood Mac is very good, by the way, if you didn't know. Okay, Wolfhorn Farmhouse. Let's head inside. Wait till you guys have kids. Time will effing fly by. Uh, kids are not going to be an option. I'm on the fence about it, and I, I would have to like completely switch jobs anyways to be able to afford kids um, and do something that makes a lot more money. Uh, and Mary definitely does not want kids, so I don't think kids are going to ever be a thing. Uh, maybe if Mary like completely changes her mind, uh, we would adopt or something. Um, down the down the down the road, but that's that's a very that's a very low chance. So yeah, I don't think kids are gonna be a thing unless we unless both of us kind of completely change our minds about stuff. And I make a lot more goddamn money <laughs> somehow. Uh, I think it's this. No, it's not that. There's a unique weapon in here, I believe, or it might be outside. Oh, is oh no, varmint rifle, metal cooking pan. Metal armor in the armor locker. Ammunition box is empty. Where is this thing? Is it in here? It must be outside. Oh, nope. There it is. Chopper. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, we got the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys like memes? <laughs> I got your memes, okay? And they're fresh. They're new. Um, a good one that I got for you is um, you, you guys like um, get, get to the chopper. <gasps> That's a good meme for you, if you ever ne if you never heard about that one. Get to the Choppa, classic meme. Glad I can provide memes for y'all here on the GV stream. The Choppa is an aged and rusted... No, I'm not doing that. The Choppa is an aged and rusted version of a cleaver with white tape wrapping around the handle and with the blade curved upward. Additionally, it deals more damage than a normal cleaver, including higher critical hit and limb damage. It has a special backslash attack, which does 70% damage in vats at the cost of five fewer action points. Wow, okay. It's a little involved. Oh, Figaro. I remember that. I remember that one. Yeah, that's carried by a dude in um in the Kings. Can we get this? Though. Looted from his corpse or obtained via pickpocketing. I think we're gonna have to be really lucky for that to happen, though. We'll give it a shot. GV baby confirmed. Yeah. I would have to. Phew. No, I don't, uh, yeah, don't ever expect that, folks. I don't think it's, that's ever gonna happen. Um. Where the hell are the kings at? Eastgate? God, I hate finding the kings. Nice one, GV. Thank you. Okay, Boomer. Hey, I, hey, I'm the provider of memes here. I'm the one that tells you, okay, Boomer, if you want to get a good laugh. Yeah, okay, well, let's try it out now. Okay, guys, ready to laugh? Here we go. <clears throat> Free side is off. Oh, I was gonna say, why are the, where are the kings attacking me? Okay, let's see what happens. Like that? Don't mess with us. Damn, dude. You almost had him. Maybe one of these days you random thugs are gonna- Hey, you're the one who's been- Oh, boy, a whole seven bottle caps. Yay. I'm gonna be rich. How the hell do I get- Oh, yeah, it's over this way. 2020 sounds so futuristic. Yeah, I mean, what, what what technological advances do we have in 2020, right? What's even going on now? VR's pretty cool, that whole Half-Life VR thing. That's pretty neat. Only at Mick and Ralph's. What'd you say to me? You it, it can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Wait, what happens if you try to kill kids in this game? Nothing, right? I think they, they, they do the same thing, right? But I want to... Hey. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, sir! You're shooting me with a thing that instantly kills grown men. Leave me alone! Sex robots? Thanks to whoever gifted that sub to me. It was probably was uh, Dopamine near the start. He dropped a tenner. Or Gallon dropped a fiver. Um, yeah, it was probably one of those sub bombs we got. We got we got bombed by a B-52 sub... sub machine. Greyjoy and Yen are Mary and Austin's secret biological children. Mary doesn't want everyone to know that she's not only a synth, but a synthetic cat. Watery bread. I don't know if I want to think about the things that you're implying, What's friend. <laughs> okay, there's a guy called Sergio. I remember him, and I do remember him having the razor. So, we'll have to pickpocket him, and if we can't, we'll just let him keep it. Because I'm not about to murder somebody. That's not what Avery would do. But yeah, there is a guy in here. I do remember killing him. 
Oh, you know what? I think we killed him for the um, serial killer playthrough. And then, like, I found Figaro on his body and I was like, what the heck? Bring back human empathy in Art Nouveau. Dude, I would love if... I, I would love if human empathy made a comeback. That would be fantastic. God, yeah, because this year really... La I mean, God, these past, like... These past years have really lacked it. And uh, I'm just saying that as a purely, like, unbiased, you know, statement. Um, I feel like these past years have really been lacking in human empathy. And it's been shitty. Evening. Oh, there he is. There's Sergio. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. I don't want to murder this man. Yeah, some human empathy coming back would be amazing. I, I would really enjoy that. If people were just trying to be kinder to each other, you know? Instead of getting all mad at literally everything that doesn't matter. That's not gonna matter in the end of the- you know, at the end of times. Oh, shit. Damn. What do we need to do for that to happen? Increase our sneak? Yeah, so it, it goes off of your sneak, doesn't it? Shit. So there's no way we're doing that because I have zero sneak. Um, could try a sneak magazine. I don't even know if I have one, though. Yeah, I think we're going to have to write this down on something we'd, we'd have to come back to. <gasps> oh, the stealth boy, though. I mean, because it has to go off a of sneak because what other stat is there, right? Oh, maybe agility or something. Steal an item or pick someone's pocket. Yep. So wait, will this work? I will be surprised if this works, but I don't see why it wouldn't. And get this fucking corn out of here. Who put that in there? Okay. No. Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, pop that. And then... You're kidding. And then... Shit! Sorry! Oh my god, look at our HP! Well, there it is. We're gonna let him keep it, but there it is. Figaro, 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 Figaro! Um, bum. Bonus critical damage. See, he's got a unique weapon. Now, we can reload. I I'm not keeping this save. Uh, let's take a look at Figaro. I see you guys are giving me some tips. Hold on. Uh, a unique variant of the straight razor. It features a sli slightly tarnished metal handle with a polished silver blade decorated with ornate etchings. It counts as a holdout weapon, therefore it can be smuggled into casinos. The Figaro boasts superior damage and criti critical damage attacks speed double the crit chance compared to the standard straight razor. And it has a backslash. It says this has a unique, like, slash thing too, but I don't know if that means unique because it has... I don't think it's, like, unique, unique, but... Reverse pickpocketing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I have Asperger's, so I can't be empathetic. Really? Noah, you actually seem like a pretty empathetic person to me. I'm surprised by that statement. One shot of freaking Deathclaw, but a child just brushes off a nuke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like how I can't have a nice behaved doggo in an apartment, but Becky next door can have five little screaming goblins. Am I missing a joke? Wait, are you saying that in, like, real life you're not allowed to have a dog? But your neighbor has a dog? Basically, you take a weapon with higher damage pickpocket onto him. He equips the new weapon and causes Figaro to appear because you can't... Oh! Yeah, I do know about that. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Do I have, like, a shitty weapon here? Oh, he's dead. Hold on. <laughs> I'm surprised the stealth boy thing didn't work. Oh, because he's got it equipped, that's why. Why would they- why do they do this? It's so weird when they put, like, a... Do we even have, like, a normal... I have a grenade launcher. I'd be fine with giving that to him, I guess. Um, okay, so... We're, pro we're, pro we're probably gonna have to... Alright, so let's reverse pickpocket. We'll put the grenade launcher on him. He still's got it, though. I have Asperger's. It's kind of like some days my empathy just turns off, but I definitely have empathy. What the fuck? I'm really surprised. Because, yeah, both of you seem like em really empathetic people to me. Um, that's, that's yeah, that, it's genuinely surprising to me. Wait, so now what? I put it on him. 
Yeah, I'm not really going to talk about that. 80. I mean, you're glad you're glad to talk about that. Just keep it civil in the chat. Of course, that's the only rule, and be respectful to each other, which is why it's generally not a good idea to bring up politics because people have a very hard time being respectful to each other. But I've learned to not really even give my opinions on it because Twitch isn't really the time or play. I, I don't care if you do it. Again, I, I'm just not going to talk about it because generally a bad idea. Learn about a new unique weapon. Yeah, I know, right? Me too. Man, it's supposed to be a joke. I do have Asperger's, but it's the stereotype that Aspies don't have empathy. In truth, we can be empathetic, which is harder, and we're, we're more selective. Yeah, because based on what I've seen on TV, yeah, it's just come. It's, they make them out to be, yeah, not able to have any empathy whatsoever. Oh, it's all good, vicious. Any spare melee weapons you can give them instead? You might not be able to equip explosives. Right. All right, let's try something else then. Let's try. Uh, we'll just see if this works. We'll just give him Chance's knife. Doesn't look like he's gonna equip anything. Cram opener. I'll just give him all my. Fr give him all my. Uh, here, you can have this too. Oh. You can't just take that. Yes, I can. Let me pick. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, careful. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna let him keep it. We tried. I'm not sure how to get it from him. It's very weird when they do that sort of thing. When they give like a, an NPC a unique item. And there's like no way for you to get it yourself. Very odd that they would make that choice. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to go to the bathroom. I've been drinking way too much water. I will be right back. Thank you so, so much for watching. BRB, look at my cats. You could try initiating combat, shooting it out of his hands, then running. Oh, yeah. No, we're just going to let him. Yeah, I always, this is how I usually handle stuff like this. Well, I'll write it down, though, in case I do decide to go back and get it. Uh, Figaro. Figaro. Um, no, if somebody, if somebody, like, you know, if, if we can't just get it normally, then I don't mind letting them keep it. Okay, GRA, knock, knock, we already got. Oh, okay, this one involves a quest, so I'm going to write this one down. We're not going to do this one, not going to do any quests. Uh, we got Nephi's Golf Driver. And this one I've heard about. I'm not going to spoil what it is. This is the final... Oh, this is the second to last um, melee weapon. This one I've heard about, but I don't know why. Oh. Wait, did we not get this? I feel like we did get this. Wait, shit. What is this one? 
Right. Oh, we might have missed this one then. Okay. Uh, this one I've heard about. I think we may have been to this place and actually missed it. Also, I didn't kill Sergio, right? Where is he? I'm going to reload this save just in case because I can't remember if we're if this is good or not. Hello? Hello. Okay, yeah, let's go. There's only two more melee weapons we're missing. We might just get all the unique weapon shit. This is going pretty fast. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Then there's, of course, the unique armor, which we might save for another day. Man, I'm really feeling like a Morrowind bug, but I gotta be smart with it. I mean, we're gonna go for, like, forever. Well, we're doing... Nope, can't start all these different RPGs, dude. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing Blood and Wine, which is amazing. We gotta put the focus on that. Anyways. Okay, so this one's gonna be in Charleston Cave, which apparently we've either grabbed or... Oh, this is the, yeah, this is the Nightclaw, or the, uh, whatever it's called. Night Stalker. This is the Night Stalker cave. So we did miss, we missed a unique weapon in here, which I think people were talking about at some point. Hey, good night, Dave. Have a good night, my man. Nephi's golf driver might come in useful later. With a winky face. I don't know to what that's pertaining. Okay, I don't know where this unique weapon is, but apparently there is one in here somewhere. And I'm saying that rhetorically. I don't want to know either. We'll find it. We shall find it. Oh boy, this cave system is big. Morwen is greater than blood and wine? Not based on what I've heard, man. Everyone loves blood and wine. And they sure do love Morwen, but... Based on what I've heard about... Based on the amount of people that love... Morrowind, I would say. No, what am I talking? Based on the amount of good shit I've heard about Blood and Wine. Yeah, I think it's if you've played it. Well, I did play Morrowind back when it came out. But I still think I'd like uh, Blood and Wine better. Because it's, it's an easier experience to get into. Plus, obviously, it's so freaking solid. <gasps> the fuck? What the hell is this? We did not see this before. This might be where it's at. Also, Pip Boy Light, please. What the heck is in here? Let's use the bedroll for one second, for one hour. Banana yucca fruit, purified waters. Those way too much. Post-war audio log. Oh, bunch of pre-war money. Bunch of stim packs. Couple of rad awakes. Bunch of rad X. Fixing things, today's physician, Lazla. Dude, I swear, those three, like, I get a million of. I, give me any other magazine. I'm tired of reading that shit. <laughs> Frag grenade. I think we were good on grenades. What's this? Hunting shotgun. We got a, three things of ammo. Yoink. 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 No weapon, though. Huh. Was expecting it to be back here. Richard Ramirez is holding it. Yeah, I won't spoil it. What could that be in reference to? I think the Blood and Wine is the highest quality DLC made, but Morn's Blood Moon is my favorite DLC. Okay, Boomer playing Morwen when it released. I'm... Man, what is the Boomer cutoff? I, I've, I've heard that so many times now. I'm wondering, like, what, what... How old do you have to be to be a Boomer? I know people are saying it as jokes, but I genuinely don't know. What's the cutoff? <gasps> I see a glimmer. Ah! Not explode on me, mister. I've never seen this. Oh, you never saw that in that room. I don't think I ever heard anyone say anything bad about Witcher 3 or its DLC. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, I mean, they really did a great job of making it perfect, pretty much. Uh, I said something bad about it yesterday, but it was just that the, um, the perk system didn't make sense to me because I didn't realize you had to actually equip them all. But then I realized there's something in Blood and Wine that makes use of the other perks. This guy has to have it. There it is. Oh, baby. Yep, there it is. That's what we missed. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Unique Super Sledge. Which we'll check out in just a second. Let's get out of here, though. Let's skedaddle. Legit just found this room for the first time about a month ago. Dang, Birdhouse. I didn't know you were a fan of Fallout New Vegas. And what's up, Cucumber? 
911 hello. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing swell. Hope you're having a great time. Hope everything in your life is fulfilled. Hope, hope you just you, you sit down. You think for a second. You think about all the things that you've experienced in life. Some of them bad. Some of them good. A lot of them good, though. Maybe not, though. So maybe I shouldn't say this is a joke. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's not at all how it is. And maybe I'm making vast assumptions. That would sound very uncouth to somebody that has not had those experiences. How the hell do I get out of here, by the way? I think this way. Every time GV says yoink, it brings back to oblivion when he picked up a nern root. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so let's take a look at... Oh, baby. <clears throat> what do you do? Oh, baby is a unique variant of the super sledge. You know what? I should just bring these over here, honestly, so you guys can see them. I should have been doing this the whole time. Oh, baby is a unique variant of the Super Sledge. It's much more powerful than the standard variant and has... Why did that not make any sound? And has noticeably larger striking... Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, baby is a unique variant of the Super Sledge. It's much more powerful than the standard variant and has noticeably larger striking surfaces. Despite its rusted condition, it's one of the most powerful melee weapons in the game. It has a special Mauler attack that's 50% damage at VATS at the cost of 8 more action points, but a chance to knock down the enemies require melee skill of that. Interesting. Okay, there's only one more outside of DLC and GRA that we need to find, and that is the... Well, I won't spoil it. Where is this? I think I've gotten this one before. What the hell? Okay, let me make sure this isn't tied to a quest. What the hell? So this is related to an unmarked quest, which means we probably shouldn't do it, but I don't think it matters. I think we'll, we'll do it anyways. This one's odd. If you were to do a more win playthrough, I don't expect to be 100% what you do every guild that you can do. For instance, you can't join more than one great house, but there's still plenty of guilds to do. Um, yeah, I think that's what it would be. I, I don't even know what I would call it. Um, I definitely don't want to even attempt 100% more win playthrough. It, it would be a nightmare. I mean, God, you think this one's bad. You think trying to prepare, like, with this is bad. Jesus, I can only imagine more when that would be a freaking nightmare. Especially because you can kill people and, like, permanently, like, yeah, like you said. So that's what we're looking for, the central sewers. Where the hell is that, though? It looks like it's right over here. Oh, is it literally this? Wow. Okay. So here's Camp McCarran. I don't remember ever doing this. I think this is totally new to me. Um, yeah, so I do want to do more when playthrough, and I guess, yeah, it would kind of be like... I would want to call it something, like 100% attempt or something like that. But it would just basically be, yeah, everything I could do in one playthrough. But if I try to really... What the hell is that thing? Doesn't matter what it is. It's gone. Um, yeah, if I were to attempt to try to, like, research and try... You thought you could hide... Does it look like I'm hiding? Gosh dang, man. I'm getting good at not using iron sights here. Yeah. Woo! 75%. <laughs> That'd be a funny name. Dagger foot. No. That triggers me. I don't even want to hear that. I don't even want to hear 100% and dagger faller arena in the same sentence. Ugh. Uh, anyways, yeah. It would be like an attempt at everything I could do in one playthrough without having to like research before every single gosh darn episode. Because that would take the fun right out of it for me. This game's bad, but it's doable. Morrowind. No, I don't want to do that. But I do want to do a playthrough of it. How generations are classified. Yeah. Hey, what up, Sleepy Mouse? Welcome to the Strizzle. <gasps> Why did I say that? Welcome to the Strizzle. I almost said something that I really should not have said, and I'm glad I stopped myself. I'd love to see 100% LP of Fallout 3. That's the other one. Yeah, like I said, that one, uh, it's going to come down to Fallout 3 and Morwin next, most likely. Although I'm kind of really feeling a hankering to just 
play Morrowind now, but I don't know. I, I don't have like a really good... Oh, I think that's where the weapon is. It's through there, but we need to meet like a couple of people or something. There's like, apparently there's like, um, there's some people in here. It's an unmarked quest. And I don't know where they are. They're not fiends though. Let's rest for an hour. I don't know where these people are supposed to be. I, I didn't, I don't even think I've ever been in these central sewers. Yeah, it's going to come down to most likely a 100% series of Fallout 3. That is dependent on New Vegas doing well. Right now, like I said, last time I checked, all the stats on YouTube were up. People seem to be liking them. I'm trying really hard not to look at stats, except for very rarely. But last time I checked, which was recently, they were doing, seem like things were going really well. Um, if that continues, and if this series does do well, and it kind of reverses things, then I will continue along the path of 100%ing Elder Scrolls slash Fallout games. Uh, in which case, the next series would most likely be... Morrowind! As Noah's saying, kind of a... Kind of everything that we can do without researching every single episode and, like, you know, kind of what we're doing with this series. Because I don't want to do that again. It, it was fine for this one, but I do not want to do that for Morrowind. Um, because that's going to be... What the fuck is this, Dark Souls? Holy moly, Chance's knife is bullshit. Uh, so yeah, it'll come down to that most likely. So if you want to see that, make sure to watch the YouTube videos and like the YouTube videos and share the YouTube videos. Uh, all that stuff really does help. You know. Boop. What? Boop. Man, what am I trying to... What am I trying to find down here? Also, we are burning through our microfusion cell... Dude, where the heck am I going, man? This is this is far bigger than I thought. Where are these people? There's like two NPCs we're supposed to be finding. Continue west. Okay, where are these people? There's two NPCs. They're dead. What? This makes no sense if you were reading what I'm reading. <laughs> east. East. Okay, we need to go to the East Central Sewers. Wherever that is. We're in the Central Sewers now. I don't know how to get to the Eastern parts, though. More went on stream to warn me. Well, I know basically everything about the game, so I can give you some great tips so you don't struggle like the first playthrough. I don't know. With stuff like that, I need to not be impulsive and just, like, you know, wait for the right time. And the right time might be after New Vegas. Do you play Pokemon? Um, I played a shitload of Pokemon. Wait, hold on one second. Let's make sure we're going the right place. Where the hell am I? So we need to go over here, I think. Sealed sewers. It said Eastern, so I think we need to go this way. Uh, I played a shitload of Pokemon when I was growing up. I, one of my favorite games of all time is Pokemon Silver version, and I loved Heart Silver. Uh, I loved the Gen 3s. I loved um, uh, well, I loved Red, Blue, and Yellow. And then when Diamond and Pearl came out, the enjoyment started to decline for me, I noticed. And it really never came back. The closest thing to Pokemon that I've really enjoyed since, like, kind of Diamond and Pearl was... Um, Jesus Christ, my legs. My legs! The closest thing was, um... Uh, Let's Go Pikachu. I actually really enjoyed doing that, because it was, like, kind of a remake of, uh... You know... Red and Blue. Um... But yeah, I've kind of just lost interest, to be honest. I really didn't have much interest in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Although, I do think it would be fun. I honestly think if I did play Pokemon Sword and Shield, I would enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, I just haven't had much interest, to be honest. Where are these people? Does anybody know? I know this is, like, a really obscure thing. You're dead. I know this is a really obscure thing. 
Yeah, yeah, ADG, yeah, exactly. It's obscure, which is why I laugh at people that are like, is this really a 100% playthrough? You can't do, you can't do. Oh my God, where am I going before I make any more jokes? This place is a, this is like my worst nightmare, this type of bullshit. Oh my God, what the fuck? We're looking for two dead NPCs, but. Uh... Anyways, what I'm saying is like, yeah, I, I like it when people are like, you know, is this really 100% series? You know you can't do Caesar and the NCR. Yes, but you can do everything that you can do, okay? So, uh, you know, have fun, do it, have fun. This is where we came in from, Jesus Christ. We need to go that way. Where are these people? You can do everything that you can do in one playthrough. And then I'm taking it a step further by trying my best... It's here. Okay, that's what it was. We, we went, we did the whole, like, we did the really hard thing by clearing everything out. Oh, shit. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge! God damn, Chance's knife is no joke. We don't even have any melee skills. Ooh, boy. Okay, so there's a couple of dead NPCs in here somewhere. And they're gonna have a key that lets us get this weapon that I'm talking about. Um, anyways, um... Yeah, man, uh, yeah, y you know, you can't... There's very few games that you can actually 100% completely in one playthrough, you know. But, as far as YouTube goes, I, I think I try to make the most all encompassing series possible. Especially with this one, I've really, really done my research. Really researched the crap out of every episode. Really make sure to make sure that, you know, before every episode, I'm not gonna do something that ruins something else. And I don't think even that's happened yet, which for New Vegas is a freaking miracle, man. That's a freaking miracle. So, you know, um, I just give it my best, and hopefully it's a good series. My bro was into Pokemon, but I wasn't. Yeah, I was definitely in... It's, 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 I've said this before. It's a really weird thing of, like, something I was very, very into... Yet, it never stuck for me. Like, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Holy moly. Wow. Ammo mother load. Like, Dragon Ball Z. I was really, 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 really into it as a kid, but I kind of grew out of it and then really haven't had much interest in it. Uh, same thing with Pokemon. Uh, I know I, f I have, like, Twitch streamers that I follow and watch that, like, are, are Pokemon streamers. And, you know, they're my age or older, and they just, it, they just stuck with it. They, like, still enjoyed it. I, I grew out of it, and I... You know, it, it's not something I really enjoy that much anymore. But I really did like Let's Play Pikachu. That was a lot of fun. Only thing I didn't like about that was the whole... The whole, uh, 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 Let's, uh... What was it like a Pokemon Go elements to it? I think... God, they should've just taken that garbage out. What is Pokemon? Blue-Eyed Mom, are you really ass... Watered down to... Blue-Eyed Mom, you don't know what Pokemon is? Holy moly! I am not trying to put you on the spot, but I don't think I've ever known anybody that has not known what Pokemon is. That is... It's just surprising more than anything. Dude, where are these NPCs? Why did they make this place so goddamn big? I think we've been here before. Oh my god, where are these NPCs? Even if you didn't do... Yeah, you try... Oh, I did get all... Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. That's right. Yeah, I, I, I encourage anybody to try to get all skills to 100% without, like, kind of cheesing the hell out of it or using console commands. And I know you're making a joke, Noah, by the way. I'm just saying, yeah, if for anybody that looks down on me for not getting all 100, 100 skills in Oblivion, you try that. See how fun it is. See how much fun it is. Try it. it it's going to be a lot of fun, trust me. Dude, where are these NPCs at? Is this just lying to me? Do you watch Star Wars The Mandalorian? Uh, no, I am not a Star Wars fan, although I will say Fallen Order did look like a hell of a lot of fun. The only reason I didn't play it is because I pretty much watch streamers beat it entirely, so there's really nothing for me to get out of it, other than doing all that myself. Um, but yeah, it looked really, really good. Um, I really like, like, people were shitting on it in other people's chats. That, that game looked really fun, and it looked like, especially the sound design, holy moly. Sound design was so good in that game. Like, I'm not even a Star Wars fan, and those freaking lightsaber sounds... God damn, dude. They really did a great job with that. Let's 100% Tamagotchi. Where are these people? Uh, I don't think we went down this way yet. Because there's a ghoul. I'm trying to save freaking ammo, because I've been down here for... An eternity. The 
these sewers, there's no point. I know, there's no point. I don't even think there's a quest down here. <gasps> we found him. Oh my God, here's sweet Jill. Look, she's got Luke's find. It's got a key on it. That's what I was looking for. There's another guy down here too. Oh God, everybody. Okay, wait, hold on. <clears throat> Can you do 100% ET on the Atari? Uh, no. We'll let Watari handle the Atari. <laughs> Fun little joke for us all to enjoy. Adventurer's pack? The hell is this? What? Unnaturally lar- Oh! It's these! Oh shit, don't kill me. Why are these here? Did it do the wild wasteland thing? Okay, this is a wild- didn't we find these before? Okay, this is the Wild Wasteland thing. A naturally large sized rodent. It's a reference to the Princess Bride with its uh, rouses, rats of an unusual size. We definitely like fought these things before. Maybe they're in different places. But that's what happens if you have Wild Wasteland. You can see the uh, yeah clear reference to rats of an unusual size. You know, R-O-U-S's. So that's what those are. The more you know. Um, thank you, Stealth Ant 8 for the follow, by the way. I would love to find the other guy, but I, he might be in the spot that's, like, locked to me. But now we have the key, the, so we can finally get into it after 20 years of being in the sewers. I feel like Frank Reynolds and Charlie Day now. Or Charlie Kelly, not Charlie Day. Okay, now we just need to find the, uh, locked door. I don't remember exactly where it is. <laughs> I don't believe where they- I don't believe- I don't- I don't believe those exist yet. <laughs> The other ones were called rodents of an unusual size. Wait, there's multiple Easter egg rats? What the hell? Remember the Alamo? Dude, I will never forget the Alamo. The Alamo was crazy. Okay, now that we got the key, what are we doing with this? Where is blind Luke? What the hell? There's another NPC down here. He's got the same key. I, I'm not going to find... I don't know where he is. So, anyways... Now, wh what door does this open? Sealed sewers. Okay, where are the sealed sewers? Shit, this is the most confusing thing ever. Why would they ever do something like this? <laughs> All right, so there's some place called the Sealed Sewers now that we can access. Mojave Wasteland, let's get rid of this. Central Sewers, Central Sewers, Sharecropper Farms, Mojave. So I think we gotta go back to the Central Sewers and then it's gonna be in that general area. One game as a kid on a Game Boy? Dang, Vicious, I would've thought that you would've played a lot of Pokemon. Seemed like the type. Um, yeah, man, I fell in love with that. First story of how I like, found out what Pokemon was. Man, Pokemon was huge. So there it is. That's the sealed sewers. Okay, we need to get over there. Um, yeah, man. Dude, Pokemon is super, super, super nostalgic for me. It, it's, again, it's so weird to have something that was so, so big that I'm just not into anymore. But anyways. Yeah, what happened was like, um, I remember I was on a camping trip when Pokemon Blue and Red were out. Not even Yellow yet. And like, this kid had a Game Boy and he, and he was older than me. He was an older kid and he was playing Pokemon Blue. And I had no idea what Pokemon was. Pokemon was just getting, like, known at that time. Or, you know, it just had come out. And uh, he let me play it on this camping trip for, like, two seconds. And I was just like, <gasps> oh, I remember I was stuck in the, um, I was stuck in the first room. Like, when you start a new game and you had to, like, exit through the carpet thing on the bottom floor. The concept of, like, going to that carpet thing and go pressing down to exit the house was, like, might have might as well have been rocket science to me as a kid. So there we go, we got the key from the girl, now we can go here. Um, it was like rocket science to me as a kid, so I couldn't even get out of the first room, because I was like, I don't know, four or something? I was, I was really, really, really young. And then, I was so enamored with it. Oh my god! Okay, time to be careful.
There's the, there's the item on that guy right there. Whew! I'm a sharpshooter with this thing. Black and white too? Uh, yeah, you know what? I actually like black and white. Oh boy. I actually like black and white, um, a lot. Yeah, uh, too. Yeah, black and white too is really good. I played all of them pretty much. I don't think I've missed... I haven't missed a Pokemon until, up until now. Um, I played some version of each of them, basically, and completed all of them, I think. The only one is Sword and Shield. Yeah, that's that's the only one I think I have not completed in some capacity. I just don't, like I said, I just don't get, they're, they're like really passive games to me. I don't get much enjoyment out of it. It's just kind of a thing to do while I'm doing other stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, re I did like Black and White, too. I like that a lot better than Diamond and Pearl and Black and White and, like, a lot of the other ones. So this guy has the humble cudgel. Which means we did all of this bullshit just for a literal lead pipe. Yeah. <laughs> no idea why they made this so hard to get. But there you go. That's what we needed to get. Oh, that's good though. What's in here? Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Anything else before we get out of this place and literally never come back? Because I hate it and it's gross and it's disgusting. I don't like it. Nope. All right, let's check out what the Humble Cudgel does. You've heard of the Humble Bundle. Now get ready for the Humble Cudgel. The Humble Cudgel is a unique version of the lead pipe. It's less corroded, and it has a T-fitting on the end similar to a mallet. Its middle section is also slightly bent. The Humble Cudgel deals an extra four damage over its non-unique counterpart. Wow. And uses three less AP per attack when wielded in vats. Wow. It has a 50% more item HP than the standard lead pipe. Oh my god. However, it has a somewhat shorter reach than a regular lead pipe, most likely a result of a nick in the main section of the pipe itself. And it has a lights out special vats attack. Wow, guys! That was worth it. Right? Can you believe we got the humble cudgel? The ultimate item of ultimate destiny in this game? Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Mojave Wasteland, yes please. Huh. The humble cudgel. I picture Owen Wilson. Wow. Yeah. Let's also rest for a spell. When I was younger, I preferred going outside and doing whatever I did as a kid rather than playing games. But now I much prefer staying at home and playing games rather than go outside. Yeah, I feel you. I did. I did a healthy mix of both. I definitely was not like a. I definitely was not like a stay inside all day and play video games guy. Like I may come off as. Uh, I grew up in a time where playing outside on the streets until the um, until the light, you know, the street lights came out was a was a thing. That's what we all did. Video games were a thing, but they weren't definitely not. The gaming industry was definitely not what it is like now. Um, it was more of like a, a just a hobby as opposed to a whole industry. So, yeah, I still grew up in the time where yeah, it was it was a lot of playing outside with your friends, going over to their house. Can X play? You know, can, can Johnny come out to play? A lot of that. I, I grew up in that time, but I also was very enamored with video games from a very young age. Okay. There's quite a li- Oh, man. Yeah, there's quite a list of more unique weapons. But that is it for melee weapons. Let's go for the explosives. There's not a lot of explosives. GRA. Lonesome Road. Lonesome Road. GR courier stash. Okay, thump thump we got. I don't think you guys have seen it yet, but I did go back and get it in an episode. Mercy we got. Annabelle we got. Yeah, and then holy frag grenades we got. So guess what? We're done with an energy. We're done with explosive weapons outside of DLC and GRA. Which means all we have left is guns and energy weapons. I might save the energy weapons for a Let's Play episode, since that's what Avery uses. Maybe we could get all the guns done, though. And then maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do, like, a, a hunt for the, um, for the energy weapons in a Let's Play. So, let's see. DLC. Uh, we got the Abilene Kid L.E. BB gun. We got that one. Got the All-American, thank God, because that's in the horrible vault. Oh, shit. Damn, son. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to get this, but let's go try. <clears throat> Not as hard as Whitney's Mill Tank. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny that that's a meme because, um, yeah, man, that that was awful when I was a kid. Whitney's, Whitney's Mill Tank. 
That, that was no joke. Like, that's 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 a thing that's not really overblown. That that was like a straight up, like, really hard wall for me as a kid. And I, I experienced that, like, organically, you know, like... Doing, doing my first playthrough when the game first came out. And, like, being like, oh my god, why is this so impossible? As a little tiny kid, trying to play my Game Boy in the light of the street lights at when I'm supposed to be in bed because the Game Boy didn't have a light. Didn't have a natural light. Yeah, my parents didn't have a lot either. I was, um, yeah, to get a video game. That's why I talked about it in my, in my, if anyone saw that Sup Saturdays video with the, uh, with the Super Mario Sunshine. That's what I was really talking about. To get, like, just a $60 new game or 50 or whatever it was, was, like, a huge deal. That was a huge, huge, huge deal. So here's the thing. Old Lady Gibson has a unique weapon. So it's the same situation as, uh, uh, Sergio. I don't think we'll be able to get this one. It's pronounced... Kegel? Are you making a joke? It's cudgel. The humble cudgel. What are you talking about? No, something you beat somebody with is a cudgel. Kegel is a, is a vagina muscle, dude. <laughs> Wait, it was called the humble... The humble cudgel, right? Cudgel. It's in Oblivion, too. The, uh, the, the frog cudgels. The whatever they're called. Cudgel pronunciation. All right, here, let's listen. Ready? Everybody listen up. Cudgel. I'm sorry, what, Titus? The, you're telling the guy who loves pronunciation how something's pronounced? What was that again? Cudgel. And one more time? Cudgel. Huh. Cudgel? What are you talking Cudgel, listen. Cudgel. Cudgel. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, I was in, um... <laughs> I was in uh, Total Pasta Street, and, and she was pronouncing this one guy's name. Uh, it was like Osprey Skull, and she was saying it like Osprey. And I could, I was trying my best to resist. I was try and I and I've been in a street before where she was saying it like that, and I didn't say it then, but I was trying my best. I was like, "Don't correct her, GV. Just, just, just let it go. Just let it go." And I was like, "Yeah, she needs to know. She needs to know." And I was just like, uh, "I think it's Osprey, like Osprey, like the bird." And then she was like, "Oh, thanks." And I was like. Sorry for that came off as a know-it-all. I just when somebody's pronouncing something, I, I and like you could you could you could be correct. You could be you could be correct. Like your whole your your whole life from now on, you'll know how how that's pronounced. Like I can't resist the opportunity to tell somebody. And there was another one too, but I didn't mention it. Okay, uh, so yeah, old lady Gibson has a unique weapon. We're gonna make a save and try to get it from her. I don't think there's any way to get it from her, just like with Sergio, but let's see if we can see it at least. It's that right there, I think. Let's wait for her to go to bed. Maybe in one of those fake countries like Canada or England. Big brain G- Oh, oh, the pronunciation, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's got a baseball bat. Okay, so we uh, pickpocket her. Yeah, she doesn't have it, but if we destroy her- Notice, she's got the big boomer. I'm not heartless, you're heartless. You're from... Kingdom Hearts. What does this thing do? It's just a shotgun? Don't you do it, dogs. Don't you do it. Anyways... Let's get out of here. Okay, what does the big boomer do? So there it is. We're not going to take We're going to let her keep it. Because we're not a bad person. The big boomer. <clears throat> the big boomer is a sawed-off shotgun with the same break action 12 gauge that fires both shells at a time, delivering 14 pellets at a time instead of the typical 7 of other shotguns. As compared to the standard sawed-off, the big boomer has a much darker color scheme with heavier rusting, and the words big boomer stenciled on the grip is faded in white paint. It excels over its default counterpart when it comes to sheer damage, delivering 20 more points of total possible damage. In addition, big boomer also has a slightly tighter spread... Lower AP cost and fire slightly faster. The only major drawback is that the common sawed-off shotgun is classified as a holdout weapon, whereas the boom big boomer is not. So you can't use it as a holdout. Gotcha. So yeah, we'll let her keep that. I will write it down, though, just in case there is a way to get it. Big boomer. Big boomer! Now that's a big boomer. 
now we've got GRA, DLC. Ooh, what is this one? I think I've gotten this one before. <sighs> this one's in the Devil's Throat. Yeah, I think I've done this one before. Or I might be thinking, isn't there a place called something like the Devil's Throat in Fallout 4? Because that might be what I'm thinking of. Um, <laughs> where's Bloodborne Cave? <laughs> That's so odd. The Devil's Throat? Oh, I think I know what this one is. We might not even be able to get this. This might be tricky. But there is a big weapon here. Shit, I might not even have the capacity to take this thing with me. Okay, big boomer. Yeah, man, New Vegas is a New Vegas is a treasure trove for uh, all sorts of boomer jokes. You got the boomers, and then you got the big boomer, and I'm sure there's even other boomers defined. Okay, boomer. Is there a perk to loot? Oh, yeah, why did I completely forget about the perk system? Um, I don't know. I usually don't take that one because generally I play characters that are like, okay, if it's yours, it's yours. You know, I'm not going to kill you for it. That's kind of messed up. Even if it's 100%. Like, look, we technically got it, right? We killed her. We picked it up. It was in our hands. So we've, like, we've owned it. We've had it. So, you know, if you want to count that. But, yeah, I don't know if there's a perk for that. There usually is in the Fallouts and Elder Scrolls, but I'm not sure about this one. I don't remember. But either way, you know, I'll just let him keep it. I'm not going to, I'm not about to murder somebody. <gasps> Oh, oh, I hate these fucking things. Yeah, fun story for anybody that didn't know. I remember playing Fallout 3 as a kid before I ever knew anything about Fallout. It was my first instance was Fallout 3. I remember uh, my friend Eli was over and we were both playing Fallout 3. He was watching me play. We went into like some sort of like dilapidated building or something and one of these things turned the corner and I had no idea they existed in the game and I genuinely got terrified. I think we both did. And, like, I rushed up and, like, turned off the, the, the Xbox 360 because I was so freaking scared. Yeah. <laughs> I was a gigantic pussy. I've said that many times as a kid. But now... Like shooting centaurs in a crater. Giant evolved centaur. Man, we're like near the guys. I have a conspiracy for you. Wait for it. Hold on. I got a conspiracy coming up right for you, right hot. Why am I playing an FPS with a fucking Xbox One controller while on PC? Give me a second, it's gonna be funny. Get ready to laugh. I told this story in your Fallout 3 playthrough? Yeah. Yeah, I genuinely was terrified. <laughs> I still remember that. We were both like scared shitless. I did not know that these things were in the game at all. They terrified me. Good, enjoy a good vintage video. Yeah, man, my channel is weird. There's a lot of like quality spikes going really low to terrible quality versus Decent quality. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of these. Okay, let's equip the space suit. Hopefully, we have enough uh, carry weight for this. It's gonna be a big fat weapon. Okay, ready for the the fun? Wait, I don't, I totally forget what I forgot what I was even gonna say. Oh yeah 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 yeah, guys, I got a conspiracy for you. Look, these little guys look like the One Reborn boss from Bloodborne, right? And what's really close to this? Dun, dun, dun. Bloodborne, get, get it? Okay, moving on. Centaur blood? What the hell? Also, where is this thing? Because I ain't seeing it. Oh, God, that's a big hand. Oh, man, yeah, I really do hate these things. Fucking dead. They're actually from Fallout 1 and 2, though. I don't remember if they were in Fallout 1, but they're in Fallout 2 for sure. Uh, which was so weird to see for the first time. I was like, what? Centaurs in Fallout? Yeah, it's crazy to see how much they took from Fallout 1 and 2. And put into uh, 3 in New Vegas. It's a lot. Wild Wasteland location near the Devil's Throat. Uh, where exactly is it? Didn't want anyone to know about this, but I don't really care. It happened. Uh, I might have missed your other message chicken finger bang because I don't know what you're referring to, man. 
And if it's personal, yeah, you don't gotta say it. Um, I, I, I will check it out. Oh, is it on this? No. Uh, I will check it out uh, after the stream, my dude. Wherever you sent it to me. So it's definitely in here. Yeah, we definitely don't have... This guy's got a party hat. What the fuck? Authority glasses, bottle cap, combat armor, reinforced, and a party... Why does he have a party hat? A couple of jet... Oh, this guy's just having a party. There it is. C757 Avenger minigun. And we are mega encumbered right now. So let's try to make something happen here. Robco! Dun, dun, dun. What's up, Carlox? Welcome to the stream, man. Had to watch Fallout 3 after Fallout 2. You can hear how much you've grown up. <laughs> I know, right? It's been a lot. Yeah, it's been a lot of changes. From soft ripped off Fallout and Event. Right? Dude, they must have been planning this for the entire time. Yeah, the placenta. I love that weapon. Um, yeah, the one reborn, I hate it so much because it constantly, while you're fighting, it goes like. <laughs> My bank account got effed, and they redacted every charge on the day, so if you get a charge back from me, I totally apologize. It wasn't my fault. Now, chicken finger bang. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I hope that doesn't fuck me, though, because I still don't even know how chargebacks work, to be honest. Alright, man. I'll take your word for it at face value. Um, but, um... Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> because I don't know. It's been. We've only ever gotten charged back one time. And I don't remember even what happened. Also, what's this? Robco jumpsuit? I don't know if that's unique or not. We've only ever been charged back one time, and it was a, it was a malicious charge back. The person was clearly trying to screw me over. I don't. Somebody. Because everybody here is, like, genuinely incredibly nice and genuine and, and good. in base good people. Somebody, like, donated... Oh, man, that was fucking... That was crazy. Somebody, some guy donated, like, $300 twice. And I could kind of tell something was fishy. What the hell? Jalapeno? What? Jalapenos are in this game? I don't remember that. Straight up jalapeno peppers. Um... Yeah, well, anyways, that, we don't gotta tell that story. That was a long... That's the only ever... That's the only time I've ever been charged back. Um, if what you're saying is legit, sorry to hear that, dude. That sucks. Uh, yeah, you don't gotta get into it, because obviously that, that's some personal shit. Uh, I don't know what happens with chargebacks, because the first time I think I did get screwed, but it was only like $20. It wasn't like a bankrupt sort of thing. I think... Man, how does char... How do char chargebacks even work nowadays? Does anybody know? Is anybody... Anybody watch any streamers that got chargeback at all? Um, I think what they try to do, it's really some malicious ass shit, is, is like they try to throw your bank account into jeopardy because they're trying to get you, if your bank account's already in the red or something, they're trying to get you like overdraw fee, overdraft fees or whatever. Some really messed up shit, like why would you kick somebody that's already down? If you do that sort of shit, you're either very, very young or you have no sympathy or empathy in your body, which makes you kind of a sociopath. But anyways, um... All right, well, I'll keep an eye out, man. I don't know what happens because of that. In fact, let me check my PayPal. Real quick. It's looking like everything's all good. All right, well, I'll keep an eye out for it. Um, I don't, I don't, I genuinely just don't even know what happens uh, with chargebacks these days. Uh, but yeah, if that's legit, sorry, man, that sucks. And uh, I guess I'll update you if anything happens, because I don't know if it matters to you or like matters to you what you got going on. All right, so the C757 Avenger minigun is a unique version of the regular minigun. In comparison, it deals slightly more damage per shot than the regular counterpart. This is further augmented by a vastly greater rate of fire, giving it the highest damage per second of any weapon in Fallout. Oh. New Vegas. Additionally, the weapon spread is reduced to just over half of that of the normal minigun, giving it better accuracy over long distances. However, the standard minigun holds twice as much ammunition in its belt than the C than the Avenger, giving the Avenger only four seconds of continuous fire before needing to reload. Only four seconds of, like, a million... 
DPS, but this does not, but this does reduce the overall weight of the weapon from 25 pounds to 18 pounds. The name and model of the Avenger is also printed on the side of the ammunition pack. Like most unique weapons, weapon mods cannot be used on the Avenger. However, by default, it comes with a high speed motor mod already added. It may do damage to you if dropped. <laughs> what? If you drop this thing, it's going to deal damage to you? And also, uh, Robco, what were you talking about in terms of the... If you had west, northwest of the Devil's Throat, you'll find it. I definitely have seen all the Wild Wasteland, so I'm, I'm forgetting, but... Oh, the... Oh, the adult vintage. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, so apparently this is like the highest DPS thing. Really enjoying the stream, dude. I look forward to it every day. Thank you, man. Oh, man. Thank you guys so much, man. I, I, I genuinely cannot express how much I love streaming these days. It... it <laughs> And YouTube, too, but, you know, YouTube's a lot less personal, right? Like, this is face-to-face. -face. Well, not face-to-face, -face, but this is me talking to you and you responding. It, it, it's a different sort of thing than YouTube. But you, YouTube comments, the same sort of thing. But, man, I cannot uh, express um, how grateful I am that y'all are saying things like that. I really, 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 really appreciate it. And I'm glad you're digging it, Circa. 150 take my card and bank canceled every charge, but if I did, only bought 95 bits. Oh, yeah, 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 I know that streamer has a lot of chargeback issues. Um, yeah, okay, I'll talk about this in just a second. West-Northwest of Devil's Throat. Okay, let's go do that. Uh, yeah, so Chicken Finger Bang. Yeah, from what I remember, the majority of what you've done for me in this channel is bits. Which means that there's no... I thought you meant, like, monetary donations, which I think you have done in the past. I know you're... I know you've mainly done bits, though. Oh. West, northwest. Okay, so around like here. West, north. But you said west, so maybe like over there. West, northwest. Man, what is this one? Yeah, I'm super curious. Let's go figure it out. Uh, if you don't know what Wild Wasteland, by the way, it's a perk that you can, it's a trait that you can take in the beginning of the game where, like, certain funny things will happen. Uh, as a kid, I was, always, I was always like, why would nobody, why would people never take this? And then I realized, well, it could break your immersion, but it's a part of the game. I mean, you know, whatever. Oh, it might be that thing over there. What is this one? What the fuck? Oh my god, okay. Avery! Oh, that's a missile right at my face. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I never knew about this. I think I did. Yeah, I definitely did, because I know I've... Oh my god. I know I've... Oh. I know I've looked up all of the Wild Wasteland and found them myself at, like, probably my first playthrough. It's just been a long time. I don't remember this. Whoop! Oh! Holy fuck. This is just like Fallout 2 now. Everybody in Fallout 2 has freaking, um, missile launchers, and they kill you in one hit. Kill yourself, dude! I was gonna say you just fired a missile in front of your face. Thank you, the birdhouse. Yeah, it's a lot of fun interacting with you guys. It really is. I would love to make a go at it. And I would love to balance it with uh, YouTube, too. That'd be a hell of a lot of fun. This guy's a missile launcher, by the way, but we already have a unique missile launcher, so I'm not going to take it. Heavy incinerator there. What the fuck is this? I mean, it's the bomb from Megaton. Activate the what? Yeah, I vaguely remember this, but it must I must have only done this in my first ever playthrough because I'm not remembering it. But I definitely have, like, seen it or done it. Or at the very least, looked it up. What the hell is this now? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's absolutely freaking nothing. Wait, what, 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 what? What? Dude, his eyeball came all the way over here. <laughs> Monty Python reference outside the Freeside Robotics Shop. Yeah, I think I know. That's just one of the ones that that's written down, right? NCR Ranger. Whoa. 
Hydra. Weapon repair kit. Magnum revolver. Oh, yeah, dude. It was only 95 bits, my guy, but if it was you, I'm sorry. Um, as far as I know, okay, so here's the, yeah, let me finish this. As, as far as I know, there's nothing that can happen with bits. Um, if, if you just did bits, the only thing that you can get charged back on is actual monetary donations, which is why if somebody comes in that I don't know and they drop a huge amount of money, well, that's a really big red flag. Um, but, yeah, you don't gotta worry about bits. Bits are not, ref you, nothing can happen to a streamer that receives bits. That's the whole thing with bits, is that you're paying the charge up front, so they're like your money, and then you're giving it away to streamers. Which is why bits are good, because streamers don't have to worry about bits being charged back. But, yeah, don't worry about bits, man. Uh, that, that's not even doable. So, no worries, dude. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, man, this is, it's been a while. This is, but this is obviously like the bomb from Megaton. They just kind of reused the asset here, it looks like. But, this nuclear bomb appears to be a dud. However, it appears as though... The core components could be salvaged. You quickly disassemble the core components of the bomb's fission reactor. A hundred energy cells. Fifty microfusion cells. Two sensor modules. I was expecting more than that, but okay. No, that's it. Now let's try one last thing. Oh yeah, the rolling pins. I like that one. What happens if you activate it? I, I don't think you can activate it. Yeah. No can do. Man, what the hell? Yeah, that's just completely out of my memory. Don't remember that at all. Why did I do that? Because I'm just going to load this save again. Salvage the nuclear bomb. Sounds totally safe. Yeah, Avery's a... Genius, for some reason. Okay, so there we go. We got to go back now and drop a lot of these weapons off. Because uh, our carry weight is very high up there. So let's go do that. There's a Vault Tech logo on it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, there was a, it was on the side. Vault Tech logo, yep. I wanted it to blow up. Wow, Mace. Wow, I see how it is. Drop a lot of bits, give some subs here and there, get in on my good graces, and then want to see me blow up, huh? I always nuke Megaton because the view of it is amazing. It's messed up, dude. It's a lot of people. A lot of people you just murdered coldly. There's no one there, LOL. I'm there! I'm there! The primary reason should be because Tenpenny is far better shops than Megaton. Where to, partner? Disgusting. Disgusting! Ah, rollers, Lee. Alright, so hopefully my weapons weren't screwed with. That would really, really suck. Wait. No, I guess they weren't, were they? Okay, do we have any apparel to drop off here? Police hat? Yep. Robco jumpsuit. Robco, you're the expert. Is this a, uh, is this a thing? Robco jumpsuit. No, not repairman. No, not rep com uh, excuse me. Yeah, Robco jump, what? Yeah, there it is. Is this unique? Worn by, oh, it is unique, yeah, wow. Okay, I'm glad I looked that up. It is definitely unique. What up, George? Bathrobe stream, where's this going? Dude, it's going exactly where you think it's going. Let me tell you. I tell you what. Um, we got a lot of stuff that we need to sell. Oh, yeah. We'll store these two. Yeah. Okay. That's it for that. Please don't screw with my weapons, man. Good. Weapons. Goodbye, Avenger. We're going to keep Chance's knife. Goodbye, Chopper. Goodbye, Cram Opener. Goodbye, Love and Hate. Goodbye, Nephi's Golf Driver. Goodbye, oh baby! Goodbye, Paladin Toaster. Hello, Pulse Gun, as a secondary weapon. Although, honestly, I should have like an actual gun gun as a secondary, shouldn't I? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna put the Pulse Gun in, we're gonna take the All-American out. I don't even know if the All-American's a good weapon, but it's a gun that shoots things. Goodbye, the humble cudgel. I think we should keep Thump Thump. And get rid of the grenade launcher. Yeah. And good night, uh, goodbye, Vance's 9mm submachine gun. And then, let's slot all these bad boys. Can I repair this? Oh my god, that'd be so awesome. 
Okay, all American side weapon. C4, nope. Chance's knife down there. No, 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 no. Chance's knife down there. Kodak, don't look at that. Detonator, don't look at that. Frag grenade, grenade launcher, hollow rifle over here. Shovel, nope. Silence 22 pistol. What is up here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Thump, thump. What's down there? Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, I think we're going to grab the rest of the unique guns, and we'll call it a stream, everybody. High rollers, sweet. High rollers, sweet. <clears throat> Let's go to the casino. Casino floor. Welcome back, Ace. Why do you have Robco jumpsuit? I skinned him alive. Game Award nominees? No. What are they? Uh, you don't have to make a Discord to stream. Discord's completely separate from Twitch streams. Chicken finger bang. Arrowly. Gonna play Star Wars Fallen Order? No, I watch, like, pretty much streamers. I've been watching a lot of the Happy Hob, like, try to no-hit it. Um, so I've seen pretty much the whole game already. So, no, I'm not gonna play Star Wars The Fallen Order. Although, I think if I did, I would enjoy it. Okay, we already got the dinner bell from the thorn. DLC. Ooh, a fan favorite. This is one I usually use in my... Fallout New Vegas playthroughs. Yes, yes. I was excited for this one. Um, okay, I definitely know where this one is without even looking at it. Kegel, Kegel. <laughs> Kegel muscles. Taste the meat, not the heat. Okay, so this one is a fan favorite, like I said. Or maybe I just think it is. I don't know if it actually is. But we need to go to the sniper's nest. Probably know where this is going. Do we really not have one even... Okay. Time to go to Camp Searchlight again. Totally random, but this has been a really entertaining stream. Made my Tuesday go from boring to amazing. Thank you. I thought it was a pretty good stream. Um, felt good. So far. Yeah, I don't know if I talk about myself too much and how good things are going too much. I kind of feel like I do. I don't want to come off as that. I just feel really good these days. It's a good feeling after feeling like shit for about four months straight. Having really bad anxiety issues and uh, some depression thrown in. Because why the hell not, right? Just feels really good to feel like this uh, every day going on, I'd say, about three weeks strong now. I've been feeling very good for like three weeks, and I have not had like a, a relapse into those really terrible feelings. So I really know what's changed, not to get like, you know, real, too real on you, but eat your vitamins, kids, because that might be a part of it. Eat healthy, obviously. Take pride in what you do. Some combination of all that, I think. Death Stranding, Sekiro, and RE2 are dominating the Game Awards. So, Death Stranding, I can't really talk about. I've seen gameplay of it. Uh, I haven't seen any cutscenes. I still think I'm going to play that. I don't know about on stream or off, but... Um, Sekiro definitely deserves to be up there. And... RE2 definitely deserves to be up there. I'm glad that they're both up there. Uh, I platinum both of those games. And shit, I might even platinum Death Stranding too. If I can get around to it. Brag about not feeling like your life as a content creator is crashing down around you. Hashtag Coppa. George, you know what? I'm sick and tired of you always just bringing me down, George. All I do is build you up. I come into your stream. I give you words of affirmation. I, 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 I say kind things. I say I watch every single one of your Let's Plays and like and favorite and share every single one, which I do. That's all I do. It's a full-time job, George. I don't know if you realize this. That's all I do when I'm not making content. Literally just watch your content. Like, favorite, share. Oh, there's a Sunset Sasper Star bottle cap here. Sweet. And then that, and then don't need any of that. By the way, shout out to Zero Period Productions. Can we get a, can we get a shout out for George? Uh, I was just in his stream earlier. He was doing some ESO. I think you all know that I think George is cool. Thank you, Watery Bread, for the kind words, man. As always, dude. Close out the stream and watch the Game Award nominees video. Oh, uh, well, how long is it? And what is it? <laughs> yeah, I think George and I are safe as far as the whole COPPA bullshit goes because, uh, yeah, we do similar stuff and we don't make videos for kids or we don't make videos to thrive off of children, thankfully. And George, yeah, George mentioned something in his stream that I resonated with too and it's that, like, you know, through all this bullshit YouTube's gone through, like the adpocalypse and the COPPA bullshit and just all the different policy changes and everything... Uh, we've been mainly safe through it all, because I think, uh, at the core of it, you know, we just want to make content that we enjoy making. 
Not that Let's Plays are the most fulfilling thing out there, of course, on YouTube, but still, you know, we just enjoy doing it. We're not trying to, like, really gain the system in any way, shape, or form, and I think if you try to do that, or if you get... If you go... If you start YouTube trying to just, like, maximize profits... Or, I don't know, do kind of iffy kid video type stuff like toy openings and... Are you profiting off of the kids that you're putting in your videos? Might be a fine line. I think, I, yeah, I, I, I think both of us have remained unscathed from the rather tricky shit. It's because we are not trying to gain the system. What do you think about today's oblivion? Dude, best work you've ever done. George. Dude, that Oblivion Let's Play video... Tears. Fucking tears. Well, it's not a competition, chicken finger bang. Every streamer has their strengths. I don't, I don't want to start... That's not a good thing to say, you know. That sort of stuff. Every streamer has their strengths. And we try to be open and friendly here, you know. That's, that's the, that's the, that's the idea. Gobi campaign scout rifle bonus crit damage, bonus crit damage. Yeah, this thing's really cool. I love this weapon. Um, I think there was more stuff here, wasn't there? I guess that's it. Yeah, this is a nice little area to loot because you get some good shit. Uh, let's take a look at the Gobi campaign sky sniper rifle. Okay, this one. Um... Oh man, that's a lot. The Gobi campaign, the Gobi campaign scout rifle's unique sniper rifle that was used by the United States Armed Forces in the Gobi Desert military campaign in China before the Great War. The scout rifle is coated in its desert camouflage with a black rubber eyepiece on the scope and comes pre-equipped with an extended mag, a slightly shorter barrel, and a maintenance kit stored in the stock. Its condition deteriorates more slowly than standard sniper rifles. Like most unique weapons, it cannot be modified, although its decreased weight and texture imply that the latter modification has already been applied, so the carbon fiber parts. Compared to a normal sniper rifle, the, the Gobi does slightly more damage, has a higher DPS, has a lower weapon spread, fires more rapidly, degrades slower, and has greatly increased critical hit damage. But wait, there's more. Its reduced action point cost can also be very useful for squeezing an extra shot into VAT sequence. However, the major downsides are that it can't be suppressed, and weapons to repair it are severely limited without the jury rigging perk. So yeah, this thing is a beast, and a lot of people like it. Oh, this one. Shit. So this one we can't get. Yeah, this one we can't get, but I can at least show it off. Don't chug milk on stream, I lose by de This is not milk. This is healthy, hydrating water. George, you're spreading lies about me, and I'm sick and tired of it, George. <laughs> you're pushing me to the edge, George. <laughs> And, um, I don't think this has ever been said before, but, uh, you know, don't make me angry. Uh, you won't like me when I'm angry, and that's my thing. That's what I came up with. That's mine. So, yeah, I don't care what you've heard. That's, that's me. I came up with that. George. Darkside Phil is the greatest streamer ever. He excels at every game he plays. Isn't toxic at, uh, at all. His commentary is riveting. He's super entertaining. He doesn't beg for money at all. So, I'm just going to read that and not say anything. I can't just get drunk while attempting to make videos or stream. I have to work on that, but I'm making inroads learning before I go super hard into it. Yeah, I don't have a reliance on alcohol um, for videos. Hello. Because the thing is that eventually, even if that's your shtick, there, there are people that make like drinking their whole shtick. Um, but I think that gets old really, really, really quickly. That's one of those gimmicks that is going to really get... People are going to get over that very quickly. The, the luster, if there was any to begin with, is not going to last long, in my opinion. But, hell, I don't know. Maybe you can make a, make a go out of it. But, yeah, I don't recommend relying on that. He's got strong bones from all the milky drinks. I'm not a milk drinker. Stop spreading lies. So, where is this dude? We completed the quest, and apparently this dude moves here. But I don't know where he actually is. Time to play everybody's favorite game. Find a random NPC soldier in an NPC camp. Isn't it so much fun? Gosh dang it, dude. I don't know where this guy is, man. Nope. There's gonna be a million unnamed people. 
Talk shit about how the stream applies to both the chat and the streamer can result in action from Twitch, so yeah, we can't talk about Yeah, 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 yeah. So I didn't know it involved the chat. Uh, I'm not I'm not ever gonna say shit about other streamers, cause yeah, it's a thing. Um So yeah, I probably shouldn't even read it. So yeah, le yeah, let's not do that, because that's A, you know, not really great, and B, um, Twitch doesn't allow it, so. I don't even know if I could get in trouble just by reading that, which, <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, they, let's keep that in mind, because yeah, that is a thing. You still drink sometimes when you stream? Um, yeah, I do, but I don't really want to do that anymore. I, right, oh, man, fuck, hold on, where is this dude at? Uh, right now, it's more so just to, like, it was just to loosen up the stream a bit, and then... Hey. Oh, I think he's in here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. It's everybody other than the guy I'm looking for. Where? Oh, no, it's just unnamed people. Oh, my God. It doesn't even matter because we're not going to be able to get his weapon, and we've already even talked about it. Where is this guy? Freaking finding NCR people. It's the worst. Are you in the jail? Is he just not here? Because the rest of his squad is here. So here's what happens. If you complete the, the quest three card bounty... Oh, nope. If you complete the quest three card bounty, that whole um, squad moves here to Camp Forlorn... To Camp Forlorn Hope from uh, Camp McCarran. And I cannot, for the life of me, find where this freaking guy is. Yeah, you're not... Yeah, exactly. You're not doing yourself any favors, either. I mean, I was just reading it, but I don't... Yeah, I'm never gonna, like, shit on another stream or anything. I, I might say some very vague, vague, vague things. If I don't agree with the practices of somebody or whatever. But, yeah, I'm not gonna really... Yeah, you're not exactly like George said. You're not doing any favors. I've learned more than ever these past five months to just try to... Be as open as possible. <clears throat> oh, no, you're fine. No, don't worry about it, dude. Uh, I know people don't know the rules. Um, I'm just saying that is how it is. The, yeah, the mods aren't just saying that for no reason. That That is how Twitch is set up. <coughs> <coughs> and I think that was fine, to be honest, but... Yeah, I, just so everyone is on the same track. Yeah, that is a thing. That Watch out! The fuck? Oh, here we go. He's got to be in here. Finally! Oh, my God. So, it's this guy. Jesus. So done with Camp McCarran and, like, looking over there for, like, 20 years trying to find one dude. All right, so it's this guy, Corporal Sterling. On his back, he's got Le Long Carabine, which we've talked about before. I don't know why they're freaking out. Why are they... What the hell is going on? Oh, he must have aggroed something. Watch, Watch out. out! So, obviously, we loot him. He ain't gonna have anything. I just made a save, right? Yeah. So then... So then... So then... This guy's a tank! Uh, I'm a tank too. Okay, he's got this Le Long La Long carabine. Okay, it's a unique weapon. That's that's what that whole thing was trying to find. That is true. Uh, you know what? Actually, George, you're right. Yeah, I've been in other streams where that has happened. Yeah, you're right. I have seen that. I'm surprised they're not scared of that happening to them. I don't even know what the I don't even know what the the rules are for that. But yeah, that is a thing. Okay, the long le, le, long carabine, Carasix, a unique variant of the cowboy repeater. It has a scope which was mounted on the rifle by Corporal Sterling. Produces slightly more damage and reloads faster as it does not load through the loading gate. It lacks one, but through the front of the magazine tube, similar to Lincoln's repeater. Oh. Also, the long carabine is more accurate than a regular cowboy repeater. The spread has been reduced greatly as a result of patch, and it now slightly, and it is now slightly more than half, more than that of the marksman carbine. Like most unique weapons, weapon mods cannot be used. However, it comes with the scope and the extended feeder magazine already attached. Although judging by the appearance of the rifle, the magazine tube on the long carabine is smaller than that on a cowboy repeater with an extended mag. So there you go. That's what that is. Oh, shit. Oh, GRA, good. I didn't want to deal with that just yet. Oh, this one. 
Oh, this one. This is also a fan favorite. Okay, we're gonna go get this. Hit start stream, then pick Twitch. Oh, you're talking about how to stream? Yeah, okay. All right, let's load that again. We're gonna let we're gonna let him keep this as usual. That's what we're gonna do. The way I see it, I could prefer a certain way of streaming over doing things, but it doesn't invalidate the fact that those things work for other people and that their viewers enjoy it. So here's the thing with that. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing with that. And again, we're gonna be vague here. Also, we need to go to Prim. Oh, for fuck! What is attacking me? Blowflies? Blowflies, this is not a fight you want to engage in, friend. Blowflies, giving it their all. Okay, we need to go to Prim. Um, all right, so here's the thing with that. There are streamers on any platform, same goes for YouTubers, that make their whole persona that of uh, toxicity. Some do it unintentionally, while some do it very intentionally and try to capitalize on it. That shit might get them a lot of attention and viewers. And again, we're not mentioning names. It might get them a lot of attention and viewers, but what I've really, really, really noticed is that people are not willing to support them in any way, shape, or form. There are some, of course, there's gonna be some. Also, it's this, I think. There's gonna be some that, uh, you know, do it because whatever, they, they, they like what they're doing for whatever reason. But I have noticed by and large, you can get a lot Man, you gotta cho- Lose all the bits I've sent you? Friends on- Yeah, okay, so there's a lot of people that come into my stream sometimes, and they like, you know, they're really worried about stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and say, you don't gotta worry- Oh, look at that, Bite and, Bite and Steve maintenance key. Look at that, bottle cap. Where is the, uh- Well, we'll find it. We're looking for a safe. Yeah, y'all don't worry about it so much, okay? It it you don't gotta worry about- You know. Don't, don't, don't freak out. I would imagine, and I'm not saying this to be mean, I'm just saying, I would imagine this, some of the people are younger on the younger side of things. I can usually tell when somebody's younger versus, you know, maybe my age or older or whatever. And, and the youngins usually, like, really freak out with certain stuff, like, again, I don't want to name names or anything like that, but... Look, the point is, you don't really gotta, you don't gotta freak out. It, 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 we're all friends here, man. Just, just relax. Okay, you're not gonna lose your friends. You know, you'd have to try really, you'd have to go out of your way to be a complete douchebag. Really annoying or whatever, just, you know, unabashedly, like... You'd have to really go out of your way to, like, not to make enemies here. So, it, unless you're doing that, you know, just relax. It's, we're here to have fun. It's the main idea. Here it is, everybody. Uh, lucky. This is what we were trying to find. This is what this thing goes off of like crit chance or something like that So we'll read it in just a second, but that's the uh, unique 357 uh, Magnum 357 gun shooty shooty. There you go. It's in the bison Steve hotel in prim a lot of people were wanting me to get that In fact that might be our uh, that could be our backup weapon because it would make sense We have 10 out of 10 luck. So let's read up on lucky Lucky is a unique version of the standard 357 Magnum Revolver. It deals moderate damage and has high fire rate and critical chance and uses a low amount of action points. The barrel, frame, and cylinder are made of a smooth black metal decorated with ornate gold etchings, polished ivory handles, and laid with club symbol. The word Lucky is engraved on the silver plate on the injector tube. Like most unique weapons, weapon mods cannot be used. However, it comes with a long barrel already added. It uses the least amount of AP of any revolver, using only 17. Furthermore, it's considered an improved holdout weapon. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's our backup weapon for sure. Especially because it's roleplay friendly. So that's lucky. Uh, the next one we are not going to be able to get uh, for a while. But I'll give you a hint. Ave Maria! <laughs> funny, right? Are we funny? Am I funny yet, Dad? Huh, Dad? That's Maria. The Ryan King! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. Enjoy your bonus caps. Okay, then we got DLC. Oh, this one. Okay. So this one we might have to hold off on too, but we can at least see it and see if we can get it. East of El Dorado Dry Lake. 
Okay, let's see where this is. El Dorado Dry Lake. And I'm going to finish my point, by the way. I know I just uh, completely got distracted, but hold on one second. There it is. So just east. I think right about here. Yeah, so uh, anyways, let's finish off things. So, so A, my point is, look, we're all friends here. I, like I said, I'm really trying to make a go of just making people comfortable, have a good time. I've watched a lot of streamers that clearly that works for them. And it's not that I don't want to, like, fake that. Uh, you know, because as I've admitted many a time, I have to really work against myself sometimes in terms of cutting out the uh, negatives of my personality, um, especially with streaming. But I think I've been doing a really good job lately, and I want to really keep that going. So, yeah, don't freak out. It, we're all here to be friends. Again, you'll have to, you're will have you really going to have to try hard to go out of your way to be banned or not liked by people. So if you're doing that and if you feel that, you might want to change what you're doing, you know, because, dude, like, seriously... <laughs> This is just about the most, like, laid-back stream you're gonna find. And I'm not saying, like, that, like, as a good thing. I'm just saying, like, you're not gonna offend me. And, you know, the, the stream is a representation of me. So, like, you're, you're really gonna have to try hard to just make people not like you. So, don't worry about that shit. And then, B, what I'm trying to say is about, like, what we were talking about with George. There are streamers, and I'm not... I have very clear ideas in my head of who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to mention names, obviously. That, yeah, they, they, they make their streams based off of toxicity. Again, either subconsciously or consciously. And while they'll get numbers, because people want to watch that, there's definitely an audience for that. Like, people being very angry, or very toxic, or very just, like, you know, kind of, like, bullying other people, or kind of making that their shtick. I mean, it's the reason why, you know... Um, a certain big YouTuber got big in the old days of Halo. It's because people want to watch that shit. There is an audience for that. But what I've noticed is those streams never get any support ever. They don't get subs. They don't get gifted support uh, subs. They don't get donations, bits, none of that. So I don't even know how they monetize that shit. There are people that do it, but I I've noticed people are not willing to support the streamer in the ways that they support a lot of other streamers uh, that I've seen. So... That shit's really fucking toxic, and, like, if you go that route, man, good luck, because, like, I don't think that's fulfilling in any way, shape, or form. I think that would be fucking terrible. God, imagine having, like, you know, a thousand viewers, but they all kind of just get off on watching you be angry. Like, that would be... It's like a living hell, man. That's like a version of the Twilight Zone or some shit. Anyways, here's the Lonesome Drifter. Howdy there, partner. What up? Oh, this guy doesn't have a quest, does he? That's a mighty fine guitar you got there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Have you been playing long? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Oh, you're talking about that chicken finger bang? Yeah, that's caps. You, you said bits. I thought you were talking about... Okay, you're talking about my channel... Um, it's on you, man. If you think a name change is necessary, you know, you gotta make that choice for yourself. People with too much time on their hands just to be trash. People watch it like really bad reality TV. Yeah, I've definitely watched those streams. Uh, it's bizarre to watch. It's really bizarre. It's people getting off on... It's just really toxic on both sides. People getting off on this person having a really bad time. Uh, and then the other person... Getting a lot of views, but boys it quieter than a fucking mouse in that in those streams. Like, it's just a person raging silently to X amount of people. It's very bizarre, and I don't ever want to go anywhere near that territory, because in the company of thieves and all that. <clears throat> What's your story, stranger? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Nevertheless, I'm interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Lady killer? What? Oh, God! <laughs> Gotta do it for the lulls. <laughs> Wait, Montana, you wouldn't happen to be 17, would you? No, sir. I'm 28. Why? You're 28? I thought you were like 55. <laughs> oh, thank God. Forget it. Never mind. So your father left. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. <laughs> like he was a mysterious stranger or some such. This dude is the mysterious... 
Yeah, the son of the... Yeah, so this guy, I do remember this, like, from a long time ago. This guy is the son of the Mysterious Stranger, of which we do have that perk, I think. Although I have not seen him in a long, long time. So I've probably seen this guy's dad more than this guy has. Sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wandering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. You're better off without him. You made your own... You became your own man, outside of his shadow. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own paw. And a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. And what do you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. <laughs> Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Sounds like you should just move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Can't say that I do. Sorry. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Goodbye. So long, friend. Can't you send him to the... the... Novak? Gaming streaming industry is a small one if you talk shit about people. Oh, yeah, I don't know why you would ever do I mean, you could be vague about it. But, yeah, I, I, I might have, like, given opinions back when I first started Twitch, but I would never, never, ever talk shit about people now. Never, ever, ever. Um, can't you send him somewhere? Where can you send him? I didn't get the joke until GV started laughing. <laughs> We're only here because we like the Grovana stream. Well, I would hope so. You can send him to the tops. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. Shit. I should have made it. I don't think that'll ruin every anything. Hopefully not. But this guy also has a unique weapon. Um, if we pickpocket him, we can't find it. We can steal his acoustic guitar, which I kind of do because it is unique. But also. Sorry, pal. Got to show it off. Aces Theater. Oh, yeah, now I remember, yeah. And there's the quest, yeah, talent pool. <laughs> uh, so this guy's got the mysterious magnum. There it is, check that out. Uh, we'll take it, so we technically got it in the Let's Play, yada, yada, yada. And let's read it. <clears throat> the mysterious magnum is a 44 magnum revolver that plays the mysterious stranger's theme whenever it's drawn or holster. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, this revolver features a silver finish with the intricate engravings etched all around the weapon. A pearlescent grip, higher damage, and a significantly faster firing rate than normal 44 Magnum. can also be concealed so long as one sneak skills at least 50, making it a good holdout weapon. Like most unique weapons, eh, mods cannot be used. Yeah, that's right. So we'll show that off because that's really cool. So if we equip the mysterious Magnum for my Magnum Dong. Where you at, son? Boop. Okay, check this out. Listen. <laughs> God damn, I love that so much. How can we find a way to get this? I hate this. Why do you put unique weapons on dudes that you have to murder to get? What is this guy doing? That reminds me of an old like uh, a video. Um, it made my. It was one of those things where like you know you you and your friends. It's like an. In it becomes an inside joke, and your friends always laugh whenever it's brought up. It was like this news clip. It was like this news clip of this like uh, anchor, and she she's just like cut. She thinks it cuts to commercial, but she's like, "The fuck are you doing?" <laughs> and you just hear it, and then it just cuts. What's up, Vince? And I saw, yeah, Trey Pug, I think you said that you... Sorry, you can't, you're missing, your heart's broken that you can't watch this. It will go up on YouTube, obviously, but yeah, sorry, man. You can get the item with a barter check during his... Right! Yes, okay, okay. Okay, so last thing we do is we gotta do, we gotta fan the hammer. Can't believe they didn't let you fan the hammer in a freaking Western game. Come on, dude. They should make... Ooh, that's a really good idea for a video game. Make a game literally about just fanning the hammer because it's so fun. And that's like the whole thing. Maybe a VR game or something. Should have had a V8. 
All right, well, we're going to leave him alone for now. Uh, yeah, because we can get his weapon eventually, it looks like. We're coming down to the bottom of this list, folks. Old West movie right before a gunfight. Yeah. Okay, McCree. It's fun. That's why I liked hand cannons. I think uh, in Destiny, couldn't you do it? George plays Destiny. George, couldn't you, can't you, like, fan the hammer? Like, it fires as quickly as you pull the trigger or something? Yo, Chicken Finger Bang. Hey, man. Yo, please don't advertise your own stream, dude. Come on. It's cool if you want to ask questions about the streaming process, but, like, don't... It's generally looked down upon to go into another person's stream and be like, By the way, I'm streaming right now! I don't know if you're actually trying to do that or not, but... Yeah. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions about setting shit up or, you know, about the streaming process, but... You know. Okay, so that is the Mysterious Magnum. DLC. DLC. We got the Rat Slayer right. We definitely did. Pretty, yeah, we got the Rat Slayer. So the Rat Slayer's in Brock Flower Cave. We already did that one. DLC, DLC, DLC. That gun. Did we ever get that gun or did we leave it there? Because we're definitely going to gonna have to go get it. I, shit, we could just buy it. We could just buy it. Thank you. Yeah, no worries, Trey. You can fan the hammer in Border... Yes, Borderlands is super duper fun to fan the hammer in. Okay, um, what is that? Oh, by the way, I wanted to check out the Gobi campaign rifle, too, and also slot Lucky. That is definitely going to be our uh, side weapon. So check this out. Gobi campaign rifle is so cool. It's like uh, orange. It's like desert camo compared to the normal one. Look at these gross ants. Gotcha, bitch. What? Now you attack? Dude, I'm going to fuck you up. What is this guy doing? This guy just went crazy. Bye! Here, you, you sit on that for a spell. Sit on that for a spell. You left it? I know. We're not going to take any of the... Uh, we're not going to take the ones that are on people, because uh, that one we can get naturally, and Avery's not just going to murder people, so... Yeah. I was going to say, level up? Hello? Uh, we're doing guns. Don't look if you don't want to be spoiled. Boop. Okay, uh, Pack Brahmin. Oh, wow, great. Thanks for that. Who the hell is this? What he, What even happened here? I guess the ants, but jeez. They sure did take down people in a... You can steal that gun, too. Yeah, I usually do steal that gun. Uh, I don't think we have it, so let's go grab that real quick. Everybody knows where that is. And if you don't... Well, I'm surprised. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah! Nope, not, nope. It's not Nipton. Shit. Red Dead 2. You can fan the hammer. Yeah, in Red Dead, no, I mean, it has to be F. Well, yeah, you can do first person, can't you, in Red Dead 2. Where the hell? Dude, trying to find shit. I should not have taken the Explorer perk. <laughs> that was a mistake. It's completely ruined my sense of where everything is now. There! Gosh damn- Oh my god! What? Do you really think you're gonna kill Avery? Do you really think? Huh? Do you really think it's gonna happen, little guy? I'll tell you what, it's not. I mean, good try. Good try, all things considered. Anyways. I just had it, man. Where was it? Oh god. Just, what a little- What a little- There it is. Ugh. The Gobi is my favorite weapon in all of New Vegas. Uh, yeah, it's, I usually go sniper silent builds, although not anymore. I realize, like, after doing so much Twitch and YouTube videos that I'm kind of just bored of sneaking around at the speed of sound all the time now. So I'd rather just run in and... I was thinking, even with my off-camera Outer Worlds playthrough, I was like, should I just go melee? Because I just kind of want to run up and bash everybody's brains in and not just, you know, stand afar. I'm much more impatient these days, so I don't really do the whole sneaky sniper thing. But that's usually my go-to, uh, because, yeah... I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Well, thanks! Justify the ranger with the Mojave outpost refusing to let the trailer. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Rip Thronk? Uh, yeah, Thronk was fun. I think I still have the save file. We could, we could do a resurrection. 
let the rad scorpion have his dream. Uh, his dream involves murdering me. So sure thing. That's going to be look. a no. Now, do you have that gun, sir? Aha. So we'll buy it fair and square, Cliff. That gun. Boop. Thanks, Cliff. Come back soon now. We could have said we killed Genie May. F in the chat for Thronk. He's not dead unless I deleted the save file, which I actually might have because I'm super OCD about save files. I don't think I did, though. I think Thronk's still alive. He's still alive. Okay, so that gun's really cool, too. Uh, this is a reference to... Um, Blade Runner. Harrison's Ford character in Blade Runner uses a gun like this, and notice when you fire it, and you reload... Oh, notice when you fire it, it blinks, and then when you reload it... Look at that. Look at that. So cool. So that's that gun. Very cool weapon. Uh, what does it What does it actually do, though? You need to know if my boys... Will let, you know what? I can download and see. <laughs> we could end the stream with that. Oh, God. I'm going to download Fallout 4 just for a gag. That game is massive. Okay, just please don't ruin my... What do you mean? Oh, I put Fallout. <laughs> this game is so massive. Don't kill my... Bitch, don't kill my stream. This is stu super dumb. I shouldn't do this, but whatever. Okay, so uh, that gun. What does this do? That gun is a heavily modified paired down 223 pistol. Successor to the same weapon from Fallout and Fallout 2? Oh, I didn't know it was in Fallout and Fallout 2. What the hell? Weighs a hefty five pounds and has a motorized cylinder and crane for quicker shooting and reloading than a typical revolver. The green light on the left side turns yellow while reloading, then turns green and makes a ringing noise once the weapon, weapon is reloaded. Unlike the advent of the GRA, it has a unique capability of using dedicated armor-piercing rounds, something that no other pistol in the game was capable of. That gun is also the least expensive named rare gun that is available for purchase in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, with Lucky, it has the highest second potential crit hit chance multiplier of all one-handed non-energy guns interesting oh raid suggestion for dopa hecking main well that'll be easy to do hopefully he's still live um so i am downloading fallout 4 i don't even know if this will happen though because this game takes 20 years to download uh okay we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel here ladies and gentlemen get it like a gun barrel do you get it guys do you get it if somebody does not say they get it right now, I'm I'm ending this freaking stream. Okay. I'm ending. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Nope, you said you did get it. Okay. You said technically you did get it, so we're fine. Alright, this machine. That is a an unmarked quest that apparently seems pretty long. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a whole thing. Okay, we're going to save that one for the actual Let's Play, even though it's unmarked. This machine. I don't even know what that is. This machine. Um, Vance's 9mm SMG. You will see me get that in the Let's Play. And then Weathered 10mm Pistol, which we already had from the get-go. Okay, that actually should be it. Uh, there's only energy weapons left. Actually, let's even see how many energy weapons we need to get. AER-14 prototype. We got that. That was in Vault 34, or whatever the grass one was. This one, which I'm not going to spoil for a second. Let's see. GRA, DLC, DLC. Ah, oh, crap. That one. Yeah, I need to get that, too. Oh, uh, DLC, DLC... And then we've got one, two, got that one already, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's like seven outside of DLC and GRA that I have not gotten for energy weapons. Other than that, we've got every single energy weapon in the game. Or sorry, we've got every single unique weapon in the game other than... Yeah, I'm going to cancel. This, this, is gonna, this joke's going to take too long. I think I'm pretty sure Thronk is a thing, though. I think, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. So that's it. Uh, we got every single unique weapon in the game other than five that, like, characters have on them, their person. One from a quest we're going to do on stream. And then all the energy weapons, which we'll also do in, like, its own episode, I think. Ex expeditable. Nah, well, I want to show it. It's, like, it seems like a, a whole thing. 
So that's it. Um, last step is we're just gonna go and drop all these off so I don't start a, a, a Let's Play episode with a full inventory. Gonna do a new Vegas block on Tuesday? No. No, if we do any Elder Scrolls of Fallout, it'll be, it'll be its own thing. I don't wanna do the whole day with just that. And I wanna, yeah, I don't wanna do that. That was all for nothing? What was all for nothing? It's a decent hunting rifle, I think. Uh, we're coming to the end of the stream, Mace, if you can hold out a little longer. They're mostly GRA. Weapons can only be bought at the Van Gra Oh, shit. Oh, are we locked out of them, then? Huh. Where was the matter modulator? I remember that gun. What is that from? That's from a side quest or something, because I remember that. Oh, that must be from a vault. Where to, partner? Where to, partner? Thronk only? <laughs> that would be fun. That was a fun playthrough. God, they really make melee so OP in, uh, in games like this. Nothing there. Okay, All-American, go back in. Chance's knife. Did we have a better melee? No, I think we're keeping that one. Gobi campaign, I love you, but goodbye. Grenade launcher we need to sell. Uh, Lucky, we're keeping. Shovel, silence 22, thump, thump. Oh, that gun. Goodbye. And that should be it. Yeah, so that's like all the unique weapons. Obviously, there's unique armor, too. I roll her sweet. I roll her sweet. There's unique armor as well, but uh, we'll hold off on that. The last thing I'm going to do is just go sell that grenade rifle so I don't have two of them. Real quick. Matter modulator. Yeah. Brotherhood. Why am I not... I, def I definitely always get that weapon. So it's a quest that I always do in every Fallout New Vegas playthrough. I'm just not remembering it exactly. Welcome, sir. Or I don't wish to purchase. I wish to sell, boy. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, grenade launcher. I love you, but you got to wait. What does thump thump use? Forty millimeter. Yeah. Wait. 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 A gosh darn freaking second. Hold on. You're telling me I can't repair a grenade launcher with a grenade launcher? Welcome, okay. sir. Or well, then we'll just do that. Boop. Um. Okay. Keep all this stuff. I believe. Yep, and then uh, we're going to sell that. Actually, wait, what's this? D DT is 17. Oh, yeah, this sucks. Okay, sell that. Sell that. And I'm not going to go through aid. I'm not going to go through misc. not going to go through ammo. So that is 8,000 caparinos. Boom, baby. Easy peasy. Bye. Last thing I want to do uh, before we end, I just want to use Lucky and try it out because it seems like it's going to be pretty good. So let's find something to kill. Pick a town, anybody. Pick a town. Pick a town, any town. We're going to destroy it. Your impressions crack me up every time. I'm glad. <laughs> Our <Arrow Lursley. laughs> Glad you guys like it. Thump Thump is a grenade rifle, not a grenade launcher. Yeah, I figured it was going to be some stupid dis dis distinguishing thing like that. Strip, too big. White Glove, too big. Nipton, already dead. My hometown? What's your hometown, Codex Compendium? Crimson Caravan? Ooh. Now that I can do. <laughs> We're idolized here, too. We did get the mysterious Magnum. Yep. Oh, God. You again? Do you never learn? Whoa, that gun looks really cool. You see the detail there? This lady never learns. She does the same shit every single time I spawn here. She's always here. She kills this poor man that respawns too. Okay. Gonna make a save. Gonna kill. Gonna use everything we have. Shit, I don't have a fat man, do I? Dang it, I always have a fat man. For the, for the big things. You know the strip's all stirred up lately? What? Okay, so if that's the case, Thump Thump's gonna be fun. Alright, let's kill everybody here. It's been a while since I've done a, a purge. All right, everybody. Come on out. You done messed with the wrong cowboy. I forget what Thump Thump actually does. Now, where are you running? <laughs> there ain't nowhere to run. 
Also, the Brahmin. Dang, I really should have gotten a, uh... Fat man. We haven't really used, like, a mini-nuke in this entire playthrough yet. Okay, now, let's do this summarily. That massive dong gun, the crit rate is phenomenal on Lucky. That is what I remember. Yeah, unfortunately, our gun skill is not that high on Avery. But, it'll do its thing. Uh, plus, we have ten... What the hell was that? Oh, that red freaks me out. Uh, we have ten guns... Or, we have, uh, we have ten luck. So, we already have really good luck, but... How many buildings are there? Main office, guard barracks, and caravanier barracks. Uh, we'll save... What's this one? We'll save the main office for last. Hello? Oh no, there's Alice McClafferty. I wanted to save her for last. Oh, I have way too many stim packs for this, friends. Quick! Pull out the other gun! Oh my god, the fucking revolvers. I forget. I always forget how long it takes to actually reload them. Had enough? I don't know, have I? Also, what other weapons do we have? I don't want to just use this. Oh, yeah, duh. Okay, you take one of these. My gift to you. Do you even use these? There we go. No, 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 no. You got to stay. I don't think I've ever even used these. <laughs> Adios. Okay, anybody else in here? No, they're gone. Uh, what else do we have in our in our inventory here? Oh, shit, yeah, the ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon! Okay, uh, we'll save the main office for la- Nah, I mean, I don't even know who's in here. Anybody? Gotcha! I got you now. Yeah, take this! Fan the hammer! Fan the hammer! Nice, got her. What else do we have? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Grenades are so fun in this game. Have to make sure to heal in between those, because we can just blow ourselves up just as easily. Thump Thump weighs less, has more durability and faster projectile speed. Usually has about 30 attack speed on its base. Counterpart with an increased AoE and the blast rate. Oh, increased AoE is what I like. Silence 22 pistol? Why not? Hopefully this guy's not the last dude. Let's see how much damage this thing does. Whoa, that's OP! Oh, look, it's Misfortune. Can't even kill it, just a... Shovel time! Where are you going, boy? <laughs> oh, he stepped on his face. Okay. <laughs> One last time. <laughs> Did somebody call for a grave digger? Who do we got in here? What's your name? It don't matter what your name is! I'm really feeling the really feeling the violence now. Really feeling the gamer rage now. Okay, this ain't doing it. Whoa, there's a lot of people in here. Ah, oh boy, we're kind of out. Well, I got more HP than you all. Legs are broken, but I'll keep on keeping on. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Well. That was fun. My bloodlust has been sated. All right. Let's make sure to reload before I royally mess everything up. <laughs> okay, and there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I need to make sure like this is actually the top one because I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna end up reloading that. I'm, I know I'm gonna end up like on my next recording session reload this 
and like reload the autosave, forget about it, and then like continue on and accidentally have murdered a whole bunch of people. I killed Ringo? Oh yeah, I guess we did kill Ringo, didn't we? Okay, ladies and gents, uh, I guess I'll just upload this piecemeal. I don't even know what piecemeal means. I don't know why I said that. I guess we'll just upload this uh, entirely over to the YouTube channel. So this will probably go up like this Sunday or so, I'd say. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're in the chat, please stick around because we are going to raid somebody. If you'd be so kind, I'd appreciate it. Uh, but if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. If you're watching on Twitch, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for the love and support throughout this stream. And I'll see you next time.